I'm home court, she's standing trial. Why ain't I see you round back when I was down? I'm home court, she's standing trial. Why ain't I see you round back when I was down? They ain't believe in me in the beginning. Who wanna hang around now they see me winning? I'm home court, she's standing trial. Why ain't I see you round back when I was down? What's up, world? It's your boy, Big Court, here on the Holding Court Podcast. Of course, I got producer Kim, my partner in the house. What's cracking with you? All right, man. I'm excited. I'm a Sacramento guy, so this is big for me. You know what I mean? You already know. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. You yeah. already know. And you know the fans, the fans been asking for this because you know what I'm saying? This is a, a monumental day, of course, with me being no limit. You know what I'm All saying? right. You know what I mean? Master P right we here, man. Rap a lot. And we got rap a lot, but we got the legendary Yuck Mouth Yada. representing the Bay Area, Oakland. In yes, the house, sir. You know what I'm saying? Town business. Six Nineville, right? 65th, 69th, yeah. the same shit, the yeah. mob, man. Yeah, the mob. What's, good, what's cracking with you, homie? Man, it's good, man. It's good to be on the podcast. We've been yeah. talking, doing a lot of yeah. plotting and planning, and now we in this motherfucker, we man. We in this motherfucker, appreciate man. I appreciate, the appreciate you coming. Hell I appreciate yeah. you coming. Definitely. You know I got to do your shit, too. Mm. I ain't never seen that. Bro, I got dental. I'm getting dental work. I'm getting a tooth put in. So they said yeah. I can't smoke through my mouth for six months. I'm like, shit. I ain't got never me seen fucked a up. nigga drag through his nose, <laughs> nah, my nigga. Bishop Don Juan, man. Shout out to Bishop Don Juan. He, he does that all day. That's, That's where you how... got that shit from? Hell yeah, I ain't man. never seen a Shout nigga out do to that shit, nigga. Shout out to Chet. Don Juan made it cool. So right. he do this in front of bad bitches all day. So I can do it, shit. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? It's, got, called the, yeah. it's called the booger blood. <laughs> the book of blood. <laughs> hey, well, thank God that's the only thing you pulling in that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, man. You we know don't what I'm saying? Like that, man. <laughs> you no additives, mean? no preservatives. Hey, baby. You feel yeah. Me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but boy, the nose is a, is a fucking version before the book of blood. Yeah, God we don't do damn. that. Damn, God damn. I ain't never well, seen that. He ain't got to share it at that point either. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> All right, I want them. They be like, let me hit the blood. I'm like, bro, I just put this. Yeah, it's yeah. a book of blood. You don't want to hit a this. Nigga, boy. nigga ain't never said, man, fuck that. Give me that motherfucker. Nah. <laughs> I think a chick did. She's like, you look too cool. Like, let me hit that motherfucker. She hit it with her nose. I let her keep it because it's COVID. Okay. Yeah, it's like, I can't get the nostril juice with my nostril juice. Made no Frank Ocean, man. So I let her keep it. Like, that's you, baby. I'm going to roll another one and do my own thing. You know? All good. All Hell good. Yeah. Hey, so I want to start from the beginning, bro. You know what I mean? You have been recognized as one of the the, the lyrical juggernauts of, of, of the game. You know what I mean? Uh, especially representing the West Coast. Oh, time. Um, but we go, I like to go through the beginning and, and, and highlight the journey, you know what I'm saying, Absolutely. of how you got to, you know, where Yuck Mouth came from, and, and you know what I'm saying, up to this point. So um, we know you from Oakland. What, right. was your, what was your childhood like? Oh, man, shit, I had the good and the bad, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. poor and rich. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? My dad had a lot of money, my mom didn't. You know, they mm -hmm. separated. You know, I lived with my mom in the projects, the Ville. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, shit, brick cheese, you know what I mean? Welfare checks, you know what I mean? Food stamps, the mm -hmm. whole shit, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Then I go kick it with dad, you know what I mean? Have the good life, you yeah. know what I mean? Living in condos and shit, you know what I mean? And cabins and Clear Lake and shit off the water and shit. So I had both, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I was living with my dad for a couple years when I was um, young. And um, in the third grade, you know, we had computers at our desk. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When the computers first came out, then I go back home to my mom and we sharing school books and shit. And they, they, the books is fucked up. We ain't even got enough books for the kids. Mm -hmm. But when I was in Sausalito, mm -hmm. that's the on the other side of the Gold Gate Bridge. That's the rich area. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So boom, over there where my dad lived, I went to the school called Bayside, and we all had computers at our fucking desk. Floppy disk, the whole nigga, shit. So, nigga, so hold on. You had a computer at home? No, at the, at the school. At the school. school. Oh, okay. okay. No, yeah, that's when you had the floppy disk yeah, when the floppy they first disk. came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no kids in the third grade uh -huh. had no fucking computers Fuck at their no, desk. Because we about the Oakland, same age. So, in Oakland, yeah, right. that's crazy. In Oakland, so when you're you know, in the rich areas. Oregon Trail yeah, Oregon Trail. I was <laughs> just going to bring up the Oregon Trail. You know, rich ass areas, like damn near like a private school, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have them um, amenities, but- um, Why did I, your dad, why was your dad well to do? What did he do? Oh, my dad worked at BMW. We built engines and shit, nice. you know what I mean? A welder, all types of shit. So my dad was like, what you call the, um, uh, what the, what you do a lot of shit, what it's called? Jack of all trades. Jack of all trades, what it's called or something, man. Mm -hmm. But anyway, 
Um, yeah. Renaissance man. Renaissance man, yeah, exactly. So mm -hmm. my dad, and then my dad was hustling and pimping, doing a lot of shit. Oh you know shit! What I mean? So my dad had. had so that nigga was a square by the day and on some pimp shit by the night and uh, hustle yeah. shit. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah. whole shit. You okay. know what I mean? Period. Did he ever expose you to that? Um, <laughs> nah, it, it was really my um. It, like back in the day, hustling came through the family. You had family names mm -hmm. before the streets. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's like mafia. You had them families, the Gambino, yeah. this, that, and the third. And in the hood, you had them families. Mm -hmm. So hustling was a circle between the family. Then later on, you start putting the homies on, then the whole hood got on and shit, mm -hmm. but it came from the family first. <clears throat> so my uh, cousin put me on and my uncle put him on. Mm. As far as you know, grinding the mm -hmm. streets and moving his work and shit. My dad, he always hid it from me. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. But I knew what he was doing. You had you know siblings, I mean? period. Or because just... my dad told me that he was on the run. Yeah, you know what I mean. Period. From um, he had lost some weight mm -hmm. from uh, when I first moved in with him. He let me know I'm eight years old. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. He's in a in a BMW 325i. And, and the projects when niggas is driving old school Chevelles and shit. He in that new BMW. Mm -hmm. He pull up. And I'm like, you know what I mean? I want to live with you. You know what I mean? I'm tired of being in the projects and shit. Mm -hmm. And um, he like, yo, not yo, but he's like, I'm gonna break it down to you. I'm gonna give, let you know what's going on. He said, I'm on the run from the Colombians. You know mm. what I mean? He said, I flushed some work. The police came to the wrong door and ended up flushing a lot of work. So I'm in debt, so I'm on the run. Mm -hmm. He said, do you still want to come live with me? I said, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. So how old was you? Know. I was eight. Okay. So that's how I knew my dad was selling dope because mm -hmm. he told me he was on the run for Colombians, but had he ever put dope in front of me and yeah. weighed up? Nah, none of yeah. that shit. But he told me out of his mouth. And the Colombians he was on the run from was Pablo Escobar. Mm. So back in the day, like in the late 70s and shit, you had to get it from Colombia. It mm -hmm. wasn't coming from Mexico. Mm -hmm. you know this boy I mean? or girl? This is white cocaine okay. powder. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is powder. He, he flushing okay. powder down the... Down mm -hmm. Down the toilet and mm -hmm. shit. So, yeah, this bricks of cocaine and shit. When bricks was hella money, like I think like fifty bands of brick or some crazy yeah. shit when it first came in. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so you, so that shit, you wasn't even scared of that shit at eight years old. You like fuck it, it is what it is. Did you? I know who I, no you didn't Pablo understand. Escobar yeah, was. but did I you understand know. the gravity of what I was know, going I on? I in the projects. Niggas yeah. are selling dope all through the projects. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, he like. The boys, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. we had Felix Mitchell at that time. Right. So I'm like, oh, right. my dad like a Felix Mitchell. Right. You know what I mean? Felix Mitchell, he was selling a lot of hair run, whatever he was doing, but yeah. he also fed the neighborhood. Right. Because if your mom was late on the rent, he'd give her the money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Kids can like gifted kids that had sports and shit, mm -hmm. all that shit. He'd pay for they, you know, pop warner or pay for mm -hmm. their baseball and shit to make sure the kids was good and shit, whatever. Mm -hmm. You didn't get no toys on Christmas, whatever. He'd bring it through. Mm -hmm. He had these Easter uh Easter hunts where you would find five hundred thousand dollars in the Easter egg and he'd throw that shit in this big field called Greenman's Field, like right you know, in back of the Oakland Coliseum and mm -hmm. all the kids in the hood, you know what I mean? Looking for them Easter eggs with the money in it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So he'd do that for the neighborhood, all types of shit. So I looked at like, you know what I mean? Like niggas is Robin Hood, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? You, you take and then get back to the hood. So that's how I looked at my father. Like, okay, mm -hmm. I didn't look like it was wrong. Yeah, yeah, real shit. You know what I mean? So your, <clears throat> so your mom was in, in the Ville. She, that's right, where right. she was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you had siblings? Yeah, yeah, I had yeah. two sisters. I got two sisters, man, okay. no brothers. So okay. my cousins and my hood niggas was my brothers, yeah. you know what I mean, period. Yeah. So yeah. What, did, what did a young yuck mouth, what did you want to do? What did you want to be Oh, everybody, like when you was a kid? <coughs> Draw. <coughs> Smoke. <coughs> Drawing. Mm -hmm. Everybody thought I was going to be a cartoonist. Yeah. You know me too, I mean? nigga. Used to, used to me collect too. comic books yeah. and shit, all the yeah. Marvel shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? X Men, yep. Spider Man, all the shit. Mm -hmm. X Factor, Wolverine. Oh. And I knew how to draw them niggas without even looking at them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So everybody thought I was going to, um, they put me in art school, all types of shit. So they thought I was going to be a cartoonist. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's that was the look. You yeah. know what I mean? I was going to be a cartoonist. They put me in art school and mm -hmm. shit and all that type of shit. But when I got to, after I got flunked in art school because it had, this my I went to seventh grade in art school. First time I had off campus lunch. Mm -hmm. So we'll leave campus and never come back. Like it's this fucking all girls school, Catholic school called Holy Names. Mm -hmm. Like none but the baddest, richest chicks in Oakland. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They go there. So we'll leave at lunchtime and go to Holy Names and try to knock the chicks, you know what I mean? Or we go to Skyline, all the other big schools and shit. We'll dip. Mm -hmm. So I flunked from just dipping after mm -hmm. lunch. So boom, 
go to a regular elementary school, that's when I discovered rapping with, yeah. with the partner Num School. Yeah. You know what I mean? Num School already had a rap group called BWP, Brothers with Potential. Mm -hmm. That had Kevin Choice, who was mm -hmm. heavy in the uh, piano scene and did shit for Guapale. Everybody played keys and shit for people, made beats and shit. Mm -hmm. Keon and um, Mo Green, you know what I mean? Um, and, and shit, Num. So mm -hmm. his name was the skinny one at the time. Mm -hmm. So um, they had a group and I was a cartoonist. So mm -hmm. they was coming to me, get their logos and shit, had me draw pictures of them and just me being cool. You know what I mean? At this time I'm selling dope. Mm -hmm. you and know you were in about so, middle school at this point. This is middle school, yeah. seventh, eighth grade. Yeah. So I'm selling dope at this time and I'm fresh. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm always fresh at school, got the newest shit on or whatever, cause I'm grinding, I'm making a lot of money. So boom, not only me drawing, they was attracted like, you know, how you making money and shit. Yeah. So I bought the <clears> niggas to the block. And had my cousin put them on, you know what I mean? Front them niggas a sack and they was able to get their money up too. So from then on, they put me in a group. Yeah. Now I'm in a group, BWP. So now I gotta start writing raps and shit. Mm -hmm. So we as New York influenced back then, like mm -hmm. punchlines and shit, like a motherfucker, like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. Big Daddy Kane, Cool G Rap, we was into the mm -hmm. punchlines. So we was doing the punchlines way back, like 87, yeah. 86, you know what I mean? But I got too caught up in the, you know, selling work and mm -hmm. shit. Start going in and out of jail, end up having to do a year in jail and camp. Yeah. That's what. So like, you caught your case in, in middle school or high school? No, high school. Okay. High school. Mm -hmm. Caught the case in high school. What was that? What was that situation? You sold to an undercover? Somebody told you? Hell no, nah, man. Just, just at the wrong place at the wrong time. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I'm going to the trap. I'm on the bus because I'm, you know, I got mm -hmm. my work. So I want to drive no car as a teenager mm -hmm. and get pulled over with work. Right. Already, so I'm catching the bus. Caught the bus to the trap. As soon as I hop off the bus, the police is right there. Mm -hmm. And they own me. They, they ready to say, hey, come here. Yeah. So as soon as they say, hey, come here, I dip. I yeah. run. You know what I mean? Run, hit the fence and shit, throw my work hella far away, dip in some fucking bushes, right? I, God, I'm gone. Mm -hmm. They hit the block where I'm at in the bushes and shit. You know what I mean? They can't find me. They ready to wrap it up. I had a stash spot over there on the block mm -hmm. with this female, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So she expected me to come and stash my work at a certain time. So I wasn't there at that time. So mm -hmm. she started beeping me. Mm -hmm. The beeper is on loud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in these fucking bushes hidden away and it's go beep, 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 beep. Freeze, get your ass out the bushes. So they grab my ass, right? <laughs> Fuck the beepers, man. Yeah. Motherfucker, that, beep, 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 beep. Should have that shit don't vibrate. Anyway, so the beeper get me up, get locked up, and um, this is only my third case. No, my second case, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I was sharp, I only got caught. But let me ask you though, why did why they target you though? You just got off the bus, was they on you already or they just was fucking with you? I was a, a known face out there for selling work. They oh, knew okay. my face, they okay. were like, oh, there you go. You okay. know what I mean? Like, I don't live on that block. I come from Oakland to grind in San Leandro, okay. you know what I mean? Where okay. they had hella money at. Mm -hmm. So they know I'm there to get it, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? They didn't see me, you know, ask me questions before, so they know. Mm -hmm. Searched on a nigga hella time, so they own it. Okay. And I got to work on me this time. Mm -hmm. I ain't able to have How much did you in have my on stash. You? I had an ounce. Okay. Chopped up, rocked up. Yeah. Ain't they ready to go? Is this so, after? Was this after the mandatory minimums? Like in the late I'm 80s? I'm a teenager. Okay. So, so teenager you, they time, took you to juvenile. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, juvenile. Gotcha. I want no grown up shit. Gotcha. Yeah. So this is like tap slap on the wrist shit. Mm -hmm. So you'll you'll need about like I'd say seven or eight juvenile cases before they really mm -hmm. see you to YA or mm -hmm. camp or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. This is my second fucking case. Okay. So I'm living with my grandma at the time. My dad was locked up. So I'm living with my grandma at the time. And um, she's very religious, you know what I mean? Rest in peace to my grandma, but she was very religious. We used to go to church every day. She mm -hmm. worked at the church. She was a fucking accountant for the church, yeah. the head of the choir, playing the piano, all types of shit. So we is in the church heavy. Mm -hmm. So. For her to come to court and hear that I was selling dope and shit, it broke her heart. You know what I mean? I'm thinking I'm about to go home and shit like, oh, this little bull, mm -hmm. I ain't, this is my second case. You know what I mean? I'm out. And she's like, no, keep his ass. Damn. Teach him a lesson. Yeah. And they were like, okay, cool. And they gave me a year in, in the fucking camp. What Los was that like? Camp. So that saved my life, my yeah. nigga. Yeah, what was that like? Going it to saved camp. my life. Yeah. I was I was crying and shit at, at court, of course. You know what I mean? Hella <laughs> mad. Like, hey, fuck nigga, my hold on. Off. I just want to go <laughs> into that. That's some real shit you just said. How old was you when you when you when you uh got sentenced? Seventeen. <clears throat> so I was fifteen, and I tell that story the same thing. Like when I got jammed up, 
I went to court and the motherfucking judge told me I was a minister society and they weren't gonna let me go home. Nigga, I played that role in court. Like, nigga, right. I don't give a fuck. As soon as, nigga, got, as, soon as I got back to that tank. cell, nigga, oh my God. nigga, that tear trickled everywhere. down my face, nigga. I'm like, fuck. I couldn't believe my grandma. Like, I, she's the most holiest person I know. Why would she just keep me locked in jail? Like, what the fuck? Like, it blew my mind, yeah. but she saved my life yeah, because on the, on the, on the, where I was going yeah. it was on real some shit. other shit, you real know what I mean, period. So, um, get in jail, man, like, fuck it. I got to, you know, tough it out, man. Yeah. So. It's like you gotta be in 30 days in juvenile hall before they send you to camp, man. Mm -hmm. So this is the most time I done did. I done did like three days. Yeah. Now there's weeks yeah. and shit going yeah. on and shit. So now yeah. I gotta hit the yard with the people and shit, <laughs> man. So everybody, you know, we kind of know each other yeah. and shit from different hoods and shit by, yeah. you know, passing and going to high school and shit with each other. So it's this white dude that was just bullying everybody. Tough ass white hillbilly fed dude. He just had that, all the black dudes scared. Yeah. He like, did a case where he shot somebody or something. So everybody, <laughs> oh, he's shooting, he's a shooter, he's shooting niggas. So um, we playing basketball and shit, man. So I did a move on the nigga, ah, 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 I'm fast, ah, boom, <laughs> do my layup on the nigga and kill him, ah, he got you. Yeah. The motherfucker threw the ball at the back of my head. Fuck you, wow, blah, hit me in the back of the head with the ball, man. I turned around two piece, ta, 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 ta. <laughs> Dropped him, right? Everybody, like, the, the people defended me. I ain't get rolled up because he hit me yeah. with the ball. Yeah. You know what I mean? I ain't get rolled up. So next day in the morning, he had breakfast and shit with a big-ass black eye. The nigga all curled up. Everybody like, ah, okay. Yeah. Now I got my respect. Yeah. I, I, you know what I mean? Yeah, nigga, yeah, they yeah. fucking with me yeah. no more. So the rest of the 30 days went smooth. You mm -hmm. feel me? Got transferred to camp. Now this shit turns into, in Oakland at the time, you had a lot of, uh, people getting signed out of juvenile hall. You had a dude named Ascari X yeah, that got signed. He made X. he made water yep. the state. Yep. You know what I mean? And juvenile. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So when I get to this camp, you got a million Scarry X's in that motherfucker. Everybody rapping like a motherfucker, mm -hmm. right? You got Demo the youngster. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? That's with uh with JT, uh, JT, the, JT bigger the bigger figure. figure. Yep. He locked up with me. Mm -hmm. You got Phony. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? From Oakland. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He locked up with me. Everybody rapping and shit, ciphering and mm -hmm. battling and shit. And I didn't let rap go. I'm done with that. I was hustling and shit. This shit ain't doing nothing. Yeah. So um, they rapping and shit. I'm like, I'm a that. This is like on some simple shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's flossing, finessing and shit. But yeah. it's simple. It ain't tricky. Yeah. I'm I curious from, though, who? Because in the beginning stages of niggas starting to rap, they usually mimic motherfuckers, right? That right. they listen to. Who was you mimicking at that time? I if anybody. Big Daddy Kane. So and, that was your and cadence fucking, and fucking Cool G rap. So that was your Back cadence. In, 80. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That was the cadence. Yeah, you know I mean, period. And then, um, so these niggas start rapping and shit, and they, you know, simple, but they fly, finessing and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm tricky with it and do metaphors and shit. So I'm like, okay, I could do this shit too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And uh, what really made me want to rap, rap again was Demo the youngster. Mm. This nigga was doing a tour in juvenile hall, like going from pod to pod singing this fucking song. They like, it was like a, yeah. a, a positive ass <laughs> song about not smoking cigarettes called Cancer Stick. <laughs> okay. And they had this nigga touring all the fucking juvenile halls with this song. They take this nigga from cell, like yeah. literally, I'm like, what the fuck? He's out of <laughs> here, he's like doing a tour in fucking juvenile. So I'm like, I need me a Cancer Stick, yeah. a song like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And yeah. I wrote the Ice Cream Man. Okay. That's why I wrote, that's what the whole, how the whole Ice Cream Man came uh, up competing with Cancer Stick. Okay. But I But your Ice Cream Nick, Man was what? Meant what at that time? The Dope Man. Okay, the Dope Man. Okay, yeah, just yeah, make yeah, a but, show. Yeah. But, but, but Ice Cream is, we call Oakland, we call Crack Cream. Right. We never called it Ice Cream, we called it Cream. Right. So with that, you know, NWA had Dope Man. I'm like, okay, Ice Cream Man. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I mean? Right. That's how I came up with the whole shit. Uh -huh. So off NWA shit. And you know, mm -hmm. us calling dope cream. <clears throat> okay. So boom, I wanted a song that was gonna register with everybody in jail, mm -hmm. just like Cancer Stick did, but they ain't take me on no tour with that one because mm -hmm. I'm talking about selling dope. But that shit, <laughs> when I made that shit, it woke the whole camp up. Like mm -hmm. it fucked them all up. Everybody knew the shit word for word, singing my shit, taking it to hoods and shit. Mm -hmm. So after that, I started writing more songs and shit and just came up with the whole idea of group. I had two bunkies next to me. I'm like, man, we need to make a group. And I came up with the name Looney Tunes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Me and my two bunkies, Will and, Will and another nigga named Trey. No numbskull. Mm -hmm. Me, Will, and Trey. So um, 
come up with the logo, the, the fucking condom man and all the shit, mm -hmm. the draw everything and start writing songs and shit. I get out before Trey and them get out. So um, when they get out, you know, they doing their thing and investing in barbershops and doing other shit, nope, not really focusing on rap. So I got to get another partner. Yeah. Who, who do I know that know how to rap hella good? Mm -hmm. The skinny one that was with BWP. Yeah. AKA. Numbskull. Numbskull. Yeah. So I come out with the plan. I approach Numb with the shit like, yo, I got a group I want to do called the Looney Tunes. My name is Yuck Mouth. Your name going to be Numbskull. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Will well, you change his name from the skinny one to Numbskull? I named him Numb. Okay. Okay. I had the whole plot. Period. If, Joe, had you, you gotta, were you Yuck Mouth already? Not in not in not BWP. Okay. I was E Flow. Okay. So I came up with Yuck Mouth and Numb Skull, all that shit in jail. Okay. You got a lot of time to think. Mm -hmm. So boom, came with his name and shit, and told him to play. I got the song called Ice Cream Man. This, that, and the third. I need you to write your verses, but you know nothing ain't happening quick. So we back into the streets, and which end up being a blessing is that. We turned a, a drug deal to a record deal. Mm. That's how we got signed, you know, buying work in right. a drought. You okay, I mean? how'd so, that happen? What happened with that? Shit, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, so that's how we get on, you know what I mean? So we had the trap house and we buying work from CNH. <laughs> Shout out to CNH. So we buying work from CNH. <laughs> At he, this time, did he have the Shirley Locks? He had the Shirley's, all that okay. shit. He was baby Jesus. Okay. He was baby Jesus. <laughs> So we buying work from CNH, and I'm like, this nigga that be with Too Short, man. I'm like, man, fuck all this dope shit, man. We yeah, rap. Yeah. He's like, what's y'all name? I said, we the Looney Tunes. He's like, man, bust something. And you know, this is back when niggas hitting on their chest yeah. and shit, slapping on tables. Yeah. So I get the busting on my chest and shit, say, you know, the ice cream man, right? He's like, okay, nigga, you dope, man. He's like, what's up with your man? I said, he ain't wrote his verse shit, but this is my <laughs> rap partner, you feel me? He's like, okay, y'all niggas come to the Too Short studio tomorrow, man. We got, I got an artist named Drew Down. I'm working on his shit, man. Y'all come through, man, and see if y'all fuck with it. You Was y'all up on Drew Down at that time? Hell no, nah. okay. this is Drew brand new. Nobody okay. ever heard of no fucking Drew Down. All right. So next day we get to the studio and this is the first time we meet Too Short because mm -hmm. we had Too Short studio. Mm -hmm. He got his group, his little youngsters already called Bad Influence. So this is the doing the dangerous music. This is dangerous okay. music yeah, era, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he got his own little rap group about our age called Bad Influence, yeah. which ends up being Rap and Run and Aunt Dilly Dog, yeah. rest in peace of Rap and Run. Yeah. So he was like, okay, you got your youngsters. I got my youngsters, man. Let's have a rap battle. Whoever win got about a whole studio pieces. Yeah. So it was like, okay, nigga, I got bad influence. Let's go, nigga. <laughs> he just threw me out there like, I, I, I ain't agree to this shit. So Numb ain't got no fucking raps. Yeah. So, so hold on, so, gotta, so real quick, yeah. this is before freestyle. This is written shit, right? This is written. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. bad influence got a nigga that freestyle like <laughs> fucking Mr. Fab for hours. Okay. It's called Rap and Run. Okay. I didn't know. Rap and Run went to junior high school with us. He was there with the brothers with potential days. He yeah. couldn't freestyle. That nigga could rap, but he wasn't no dope nigga like yeah. them. And then was rapping circles around this nigga. Yeah. Like he wasn't that nigga. I wasn't that nigga back then neither. <laughs> so I know how I done improved it yeah. in, in camp. Like I'm, boy, I'ma eat this nigga up yeah. if he that nigga from junior high school. <laughs> And I know he like, if he that nigga from junior high school, I got yeah, this nigga. Yeah. I ain't no Aunt Dilly dog. And it was another nigga named Eclipse, which ended up being my cousin through marriage. Rest mm -hmm. in peace, Eclipse, which ended up being the group Sido that was signed to Gov. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Him and mm -hmm. T. Looney. So it's him, Rapper Ron, and Eclipse. <clears throat> I got to rap against all three of these niggas by myself. None of them ain't got one fucking lyric written. <laughs> So Drew ain't got a rap. Drew down already signed. Yeah. So Drew down is like, baby, baby. baby. He's like, bubba, bubba. A baby, bubba, yeah, bubba, bubba. bubba. He got a little baby shirt yeah, too. Yeah. He's like, bubba, bubba. Do what you do, bubba, bubba. So yeah, so I get up there and I'm rapping. I slay Dilly. I slay Clips. And it's just me and rapper Ron going back to back. I don't say the ice cream man because I know if I say this rap, somebody gonna take it. Yeah. All these, you got everybody that signed the damn near dangerous music right there in the room. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, somebody gonna steal this shit. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I'm not saying that. I said everything but that. Mm -hmm. Rap and Ron being a freestyle motherfucker, knowing that it's about pieces. This yeah. nigga's like, okay, CNAs, go roll some reefer. Matter of fact, you lost, nigga. Go buy the motherfucking pieces. Everybody, <laughs> ah! <laughs> it was over. I couldn't say nothing yeah. else because he said what the fucking bet was about. Yeah. Yeah, so it was over after that. I just bowed down gracefully. Like, you got me. I still didn't say ice cream, man. Like, I could have killed it with ice cream, man. Yeah. But I'm like, nah, I ain't going to give it to him. Somebody going to steal this shit. Because mm -hmm. prior to that, 
uh, Seagram, rest in peace. Yeah, uh, that was Seagram. signed to rap a lot. Yep. He from my neighborhood. Prior to that, just me getting out of jail. Mm -hmm. Seagram heard it. Another nigga saying Ice Cream Man just rapping it because mm -hmm. everybody knew it. So um, he called my house trying to buy the song mm -hmm. for a thousand dollars. Yeah, and some said, Nah, nigga, hold on to this. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And then after that, I meet, you know, do the CNH deal mm -hmm. and turn the uh, the dope deal to a record deal. So if I would have sold that song. Yeah. I wouldn't have been able to do. Some right. said, hold on to that fucking song. Right. So knowing that Seagram tried to buy it. Mm -hmm. You and felt like that, it was value there. Yeah. yeah. And I'm yeah. like, if I say this in front of these <clears throat> niggas, they going to take it because another rapper that was already signed to mm -hmm. rap a lot tried to buy it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, nah, I ain't saying this so shit. So who was the other nigga that was saying the ice cream man that, he, that Seagram said he heard? Oh, it was a nigga from our hood. Okay. It was a nigga. Okay. He was like, nigga, JJ. That's okay. when they called me JJ. They're like, uh -huh. the nigga, JJ. Nigga, woo -woo. we got a song called Ice Cream Man. Nigga, mm -hmm. check it out. And he started saying a, a bit of the rhymes. Mm -hmm. He was like, oh, that's slick. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Nigga gave me. That's when you had to have a nigga beeper number or your house number. The nigga called yeah. the house. Yeah. My grandma house. Like, <clears throat> yeah, nigga, what's up, JJ? Yeah, you got that ice cream. I thought he wanted to sign a nigga. Yeah. You know, I'm like, okay, cool. You about to sign a nigga? Like, nah, I want to buy the song. I'm like, oh, <laughs> nigga. So the deal that you did with CNH, did he already have distribution and shit in line? Um, CNH was doing the shit out the trunk. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. From the beginning, you know what I mean, with the Drew Now first album. But we had a manager named McCraw, AJ Pavel, that was lining us up. He'd walk us in all the shit. So yeah. after Drew Down first <clears throat> independent album, um, we all got signed. Okay. Drew Down got signed to Relativity. We right. got signed to Version Records. Mm -hmm. We got Mac Mall signed to Relativity. Yep. So my manager was inking up a lot of deals. He mm -hmm. got Richie Rich signed to uh, Def Jam. Def Jam. Yep. So our manager, AJ Pavel, lined up all those deals because mm -hmm. he had relationships with all those record labels. So, But we start off independent, mm -hmm. off the rip. Okay. Yep. And so so your first, so your what was the first single of the Loonies when y'all independent at that time? Because the Ice Cream Man, let, let's talk about that. That was our Man. first single, but it was on Drew Down's album. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So the, so hold on. So the song, the Ice Cream Man, was you didn't you referenced Ice Cream Man on Drew Down's song, right? Or was the song called Ice Cream Man? No, it was the Ice Cream Man song on Drew Down's album. We gave that that whole song got put on Drew Down album. Not okay, ours. okay, yeah. We so gave was that, that Drew Down's song or was it? I'm saying it's on Drew Down's album. Yeah, yeah. it's his song. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. And that was the first time you said Ice Cream Man publicly. Yeah. Okay, and that was what ninety what three ninety two ninety two. Yeah. Okay. And that was no, on no, 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 93, 93, 93. And yep. that was on what label? Because at that point, y'all signed, right? We don't see no. Yeah, but y'all, because y'all had a video to it, right? Yeah, but that was independent. Damn, that video, y'all put that out independent? Because yeah, that shit was on like the box and shit too, yeah, right? Yeah, we was independent. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, damn. We going to Rainbow Records, buying vinyls and shit, tapes, I remember all Rainbow. that shit, driving to LA and bringing yeah. them back and dropping them off to T.Y. Uzi and yeah. all the record stores, fucking uh, Raspu and all that shit, just dropping them off and doing consignment. Ah, and that's what okay. got us the record deal because we was able to, you know, do the shit on our own. Got you, got you. Know you. What I mean, I'm showing proof. Okay, know? so that's 93. <laughs> Okay, so then you you that was your first time making reference to the ice cream man, which is on Drew Down song. Right. So then y'all y'all uh after coming off the Drew Down single, was you was that song buzzing? That ice cream man Hell song? Yeah. Did it hit Billboard and shit like that? Man, I don't know about all that. I know yeah. in Oakland, okay, that shit was an anthem. You seen that video had every nigga, major nigga in Oakland from West Oakland, North Oakland, East Oakland, all in that video pulling their cars out in the crowd. <laughs> Was what like, was the chorus to that song, The Ice Cream Man? Shit, there wasn't no chorus. <laughs> right. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't. no chorus. Okay. It was just the doom, doom, doo 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 and CNA's talking about he got the work and shit and all uh -huh. of that. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was mainly just CNA's talking that shit like he was dope dealing on the hook. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. So then off of that, y'all got the deal for the Loonies, and then you dropped the first album for the Loonies, right? Right. Which was? Operate Stack Ola. And that's with the the hit song. I got five. I got on five it. on it. Facts. Who who did that music? Who created that that beat for I Got Five on it? Tone Capone. Okay. Tone Capone created the beat, but we should get co co production because we bought the album to him and told him to flip this. Yeah. That yeah. shit wasn't just playing on the drum. Which is machine. the Club Nouveau. Club Nouveau. Why you treat me so right. bad? So right. I I got that because my big sister. Shout out Sharice. Oh, that was her favorite song. She played that motherfucker all yeah, day. Yeah, that was a hit, bro. All fucking day. But yeah. when they was, this is like when Puff doing all the remixes and yep. shit. They did every remix, but why you treat me so bad? Right. So I'm like, yo, we need to do why you treat me so bad, yeah. nigga. So me and them go get the album 
and okay. we bring it to Tone and yeah. say, we flipped this. Mm -hmm. Now with Tone, not only did he kill the beat, but he brought Mike Marshall to the table who mm -hmm. was part of Time X Social Club yep. and they split up and From became Club, Club right. became Club Nouveau. Yep. But he's the nigga on, look at all these rooms. He the one singing That's the light all this skin shit. light-skinned cat? Light-skinned cat, yeah. right. Uh -huh. So, Ice Cream, <clears throat> I mean, uh, Five on the Hook was just me saying it. I wrote mm -hmm. the hook and I was just saying it. I got Five mm -hmm. on it, grab your four, oh, let's get key. Yeah. I got Five on it. It was like, okay, that's a dope ass hook, but you know what I mean? Tone was like, you know what I mean? And that's, Come back and that's on Virgin, right? That's on Virgin. Okay. So okay. we came back like a couple days later and he had Mike Marshall singing the hook and okay. that shit woke it all the way up. Like, oh shit, now so, it, now we got one. Yeah, so now what year was that? One. That was 94. That was 94. 94. Yep. No, we made that in 93. Yeah, but it hit the streets in 94. 95. 95. We okay. made it in 93. That was okay. the first song we made working on our solo album after Drew Down's independent album came yeah. out. We made it in 93 and just put that shit in the vault. Okay. Because we knew we that was our one. That was our yeah. pimp of the year. Drew yeah. had pimp of the year. We got one now. Boom. Yeah. That was our pimp of the year. So then mm -hmm. we start working on the which would be a a, a mixtape or mm -hmm. EP <clears throat> with the condom man on it, mm -hmm. with sugar tea everybody on it, and mm -hmm. just throw that out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? For the streets. And then boom. Mm -hmm. Had that for uh, when we got signed to version. Yeah. You know what I mean? They was like, what well, we got? And yeah. we played five on it, like, oh, y'all already got y'all shit. Yeah. Finish up the album. So yeah. it was that. On that type of hit. So five I mean? on it comes out. That motherfucker's a major hit. Yes, right? sir. Yeah. So did it take time for it to pick up or did it shoot that right shit out? Shot. Shot. From the rip because yeah. you had muscle behind it. Like yeah. it's a, not only a hit, you got the label putting yeah. money. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? So they and believed in it. Payola in that motherfucker. Yeah. It's yeah, called marketing right. money. They yeah. they putting it, making the radios play, like ah, 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 play, uh -huh. play, play. And it caught on, you know yeah. what I mean? Period. It, it's doing like it used to be that pump it or dump yeah, it and yeah, shit, all that yeah. shit in different radio states. They put it through that first before they put it in rotation. So we yeah. went all the pump it or dump yeah. it's against the top niggas. Right. You know what I mean? So then when they put it on rotation, or, you know, the record label paying for the rotation. The right. street team is out there beating the streets and shit. Mm -hmm. um, we out there doing shows and shit, summer jams and shit, yeah. all types of shit. So with that so, being done, that shit, that shit went off the rip. Five on it went platinum in a week. Yeah. So the does, song, does damn. damn, that's the crazy. Song, the, so does, gold does went, the album went gold in a month. Damn. Yeah. So does life change for y'all? Like instantly? It's like you getting show money, you know, shit coming Not in. Not platinum in a week. It went platinum in a month. Mm -hmm. So the first three weeks we outsold uh Michael Jackson on a billboard. We was number one over Michael Jackson, everybody for mm -hmm. three weeks. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that that's when that five on it did his platinum thing. So life changed for you at that point. Oh, quick, fast. Yeah. Like we was on tour with Biggie Smalls a month yeah. later. Biggie Smalls, Puff, Mary J. Yeah. Blige. We all on one big ass tour together. Mm -hmm. Naughty by Nature, Joe C, Junior mm -hmm. Mafia, um, Adina Howard, us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and okay. oh, I can't forget, nigga, before she became famous, nigga, Missy Elliott and mm -hmm. Timbaland, you know okay. what I mean? Because we had Joe to see, that was okay. Devontae Swain artists, and they was like some Matrix, they was dressed yeah. in leather and shit, I don't know what they fucking <laughs> group was called at the beginning, but they was Matrix yeah. out, leathered out and shit, yeah. whatever, and they performed before Dina Howard. Yeah. They opened up the show, Okay, and they had a group, Timbaland, Missy, and a few mm -hmm. other motherfuckers, I mm -hmm. don't know what it was, but they ended up becoming just, yeah. you know, Timbaland and Missy, and, and you know, later nice. on. But yeah, I was I seen them at the beginning. Okay. Yeah, you know I mean straight up. So let so. me ask you this. So you got this platinum fucking album, you know, you got the single, all that shit. Well, right. gold album, platinum single. Right. Right. And that shit, that shit on fire. So let me ask you, did you ever, did you reference or do any ice cream man shit on Operation Stackola? Did you did you or you left that shit in ninety three? Nah, we we said it. We said we said it on Operate Stack. All the couple okay. references on there. Okay. Yep. So uh, let me ask you. So at that point in the bay, was that a slang term like trapping, trapper, or dope man? Or was niggas after, just kind of saying it? Like after we made the song, it became a slang word. Okay. That's why. That's how P caught it. Okay. That's how. That's nah, how. I'm your, working up to that. How, I'm working up to that. That's how your boy got. I'm creating it. the case. Yeah. You see, I'm that's creating how, my case. You right, know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. It became a slang word yeah. after the song was yeah. made in '93. In '93, after '93, this the song it became, became popular. Instead of cream, they get sell an ice cream. Ice cream, cream now. right? Yep. Okay. And so now, y'all, y'all, this is '95. So y'all shit at this time. Hell, I think I'm out there too. And so y'all cracking, y'all cracking. Right. So now you start to hear. You were you aware of P before? Hell yeah. Okay. We, 
Now, that first album, that, that first in 93, that drew down mm -hmm. first album, we, we sold them some shit. We okay. dropped some consignments in Richmond. Okay, at the yeah. store, at the No Limit store. Right, hell okay. yeah, man. So was you aware of P, I mean, even outside nah, of No, nigga, the... he did all them West Coast bad boys and yeah. shit. Niggas was fucking with P heavy. He right. did a true album. We was, yeah, we was, yeah, nigga, sure. We represent the Bay, nigga. Right. He was, Fucking with JT, the bigger figure, nigga mm -hmm. tapped in. So mm -hmm. we was fucking with P heavy. Yeah, yeah. Straight, especially them West Coast bad boys. He was putting that's niggas the one on. That's on. Yeah, yeah so that's the one that blew Yeah, all the big niggas, the mm -hmm. LA niggas on one watch. That shit's still crazy. And everybody still say he took away from Cell Block and another compilation that was in the Bay Area that did Cell heavy. Block. Cell Block and another Cell Block one. didn't come to after that, though. But after it was West another one before boys. that. Herm was the only one doing it. The Herm one, what, what the Herm one was called? Oh, uh, uh Struggling in the ghetto. Nah, that's like. another big one that came. Herm out. came first. Uh, the first compilation I heard from the Bay, I believe, was Herm. Trying to survive. Trying to survive yeah. in the ghetto, right? Nah, uh, not yeah. that one. It's another one that it, that was done in the Bay one. Area. So. I ain't up on that one. Yeah, it was the one that was done in Oakland. <laughs> okay, because yeah. I know Herm. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he came with West Coast Bad Boys. So now, 95, 96, rounding around, you hear. The ice cream man. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So. <laughs> Ouch. That hurt so my what soul. It, what it? What are your? What were your thoughts when you heard it's the ice cream man? What Back was, in the, let, let me let me clear up the the atmosphere right yeah, now. Let me, yeah. Yeah. Paint stay. it for us. Back in the day, man, you couldn't sound like nobody. You couldn't fight nobody. Right. You couldn't. Right. You couldn't. You had to be authentic. Everything True. had to True. be authentic or True. it was considered whack, right. whack juice, or you right, right. biting up. Right. It, you, like right. right now, what they doing and everybody copying yeah. each other, Sound that like shit each other. was- yeah. It couldn't fly yeah, in the that 90s. that shit could not nah. fly in the, the 90s, 80s. in the 80s yeah. at nah. all. Nah. You had to be original with Different your own culture. shit or they ain't fucking with you. Right. So we looked at P like, wow, <laughs> you, you biting, you ain't being original, even though- he did it totally different. He right. made it a, a, like he had the hook on his shit. Right. He made it like right. a, a hit single song. Right. Our shit was like an album so, But filler. let me ask you though, in all fairness, is it biting if it's if it's just a term? So right, so like in Atlanta, niggas say trap. I'm Back trapper, then you're trapper. biting, man. Just like Wu-Tang, yo but son, hold on. yo but son, hold on. they got the but... baby on the picture like Nas, B word. <laughs> yo son, Nas, so they could get yeah. that shit off and we can't get no, ours no, off? No, no, but listen, that's different That though. nigga was just dissing the shit out of Biggie, right? That's different <laughs> right. though. Putting the baby, Come yeah, because everybody ain't doing that. Yo, everybody son, you ain't doing that. put the baby on the joint like Nas did, kid. <laughs> like, yo, they could get that, yeah. and I can't, come on, it was But no, 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 but what I'm saying is, no, no, but listen, bro. You acting like you wasn't there, nigga. No, I was there, right? Come on, like I'm gonna make the dead. case, but listen, what I'm what saying is- What if I is, came with all limit records? <laughs> <laughs> like, what no, would like, you be I like- I mean, but you could do that. You could do that. that Go that, limit. Yeah, that, but, but no, but no, no. So now we talking about, we talking Come about on. lingo. So we talking about lingo. Back then, would they would have rolled but with it? Ice Cream Man was lingo. Would they would have rolled with all limit records with an army no, tank? No, but that's But different. I got a US flag on the top. <laughs> Instead of like some to make that, and I got triple gold days on the, on the tank. Something to make the tank yeah, different. Yeah, it's, but I get what you're saying, but it's different with lingo, though, right? We can argue with lingo, cause we just talking about lingo. Ice cream man was lingo, right? Facts, facts. Right, right. So, so now somebody hears something just like nowadays they say trapping or drip or whatever, right? Right. And the niggas say, oh, yeah, I'm going to make a song called Drip. I'm going to be the Drip God now. Now I'm the Drip it's God. Like, it's right. like, That's oh, okay. nowadays. That wasn't back. You keep on acting <laughs> like it's nowadays. Back in the day, you couldn't do it. Yo, son, they did this kid like Nas B. You couldn't. I get you what you Maybe he was a pioneer. It. Maybe Yo, P son, was the he first. Yeah. like Nas B yeah. word. So like, let's take it back. So you yeah, hear you hear P is. growing up with that. And it, I mean, blowing up with that. Then what's your feeling? I mean, the obvious. You um, felt like he 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 blatantly took it from you, like hell yeah. We, we was on we. It was a lot of people pumping us up too. Yeah, like everybody. Yeah. Ah, nigga, how you like like what the fuck? Everybody all yeah. like that. Well, and you and, platinum at the time too. Yeah, yeah, we platinum at the time too. Yeah. Working on the but not off shit. the ice cream man. You nah, platinum off, off a whole some other thing. shit. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. Explicit but, game was a big album in North Carolina. Right, too, right. Though. But so, but yeah. the ice cream man was was the shit that brought us in the game. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It mm -hmm. changed the game so much that when it was on video mm -hmm. jukebox and all the mm -hmm. shit and soul beat and shit mm -hmm. that. When Friday came out, they had a CNH lookalike, which was mm -hmm. Big Worm, and they had the ice cream truck on Triple Gold Dayton's, yeah. like we had in the video. Right. The first time <clears throat> was ever seen the ice cream truck on Gold Dayton's, right. ever in life. Right. So it was it was it it it, it, it was game changing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That shit was game changing mm -hmm. to be in the movie. The nigga have the Zach nigga yeah. like CNH, but he's fat. He got yeah. the perm, the Shirley's and face shit. Love. Yeah, face uh, love. the yeah. Zach, uh, Zach. Yeah. 
take, they took that yeah, from us. Yeah. So we felt like Friday, then here comes P. We yeah. like, oh niggas, it's biting. Like we <laughs> we mad. Like yeah, they keep yeah. taking from us and yeah. shit. But it took mm -hmm. me to meet P. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? To squash it face to face for him mm -hmm. to say, bro, that was lingo. I can't get mad at everybody and say, uh, right. nah, 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 nah. Like, right. what, I'm a beef with any nigga that say yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I say I'm a soldier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it made me feel stupid because just like you saying at the time, it was lingo. It was, it was Bay Area lingo. Reason I'm saying it's that. like E40 getting mad at. At, at at Snoop yeah. for saying uh, yeah. for, shizzle. for shizzle, shizzle, my nizzle. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. it's like it's lingo now. Yeah. It, yeah. It's famous now. And, and, he, I, he, I, and I, I can be honest with you because I was around at that time. Mm -hmm. I remember hearing um, when I first came to No Limit, I remember it was 95. I remember hearing Ice Cream Man um, instrumental. Right. The world class wrecking crew. Right. And I can assure you, my brother, there was never any conversations of, you know what I'm saying? The loonies. The loonies right. or yeah, this nigga yuck. Remember how he did that? Right, and we should right. take that and flip that. Right. It was never a conversation like that ever. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So I think it was just and then it's the thing, P freestyles. You know right. what I'm saying? He just go with feeling. He just get in there and just say some shit off the top of his head. You know what I mean? Right. But let me ask you, did you did so? Did you ever own the ice cream man in terms of like the trademark, or did you did you do that? Or P got it. Oh. <laughs> P got the ice cream man, but uh, really, uh, Billionaires Boys Club. You know, uh, mm -hmm. Pharrell and them got ice cream, mm -hmm. so they really got it. But yeah. uh, P making some ice cream shit too. But, yeah, yeah. Nah, but I'm saying know. even early on, you didn't think to like say. Nah, nigga, like, we was artists. Did yeah, you I trademark know. your shit when Fuck you first no. came in the game? Fuck we no. didn't know about that. I still shit. ain't trademarked the now shit we did. Trademarked <laughs> I still shit. ain't trademarked like, the shit we nigga, did back then. The last five, six years, I just saw trademark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just learned that shit too about just eight years ago. Yeah, like just learned. Yeah, nigga, I trademark yeah. everything. Yeah, Smoking yeah, the whole shit. yeah. Nah, we didn't know that shit. But I didn't know, know that, that game back nah, then, nigga. Nah. We was just getting a check, yeah, nigga. The flex, talk. right? We want that bag, nigga. <laughs> we didn't even know about publishing, nigga. Right. Until I got a publishing deal for yeah. a half a million, I'm like, oh, that's publishing. Yeah, yeah. You feel yeah. me? But I ain't know. I, we made the publishing name. Yeah. We registered the songs, yeah. nigga. The shit hit. Yeah. And the big company, MI, mm -hmm. called, nigga. Uh, fucking uh, what's gonna call it? Uh, Biggie, what's his mm -hmm. name? Uh, who you talking about? Uh, at EMI that do all the all the record deals. Oh, shit, What's his name, man? Anyway, man, he's a big heavyweight. Yeah. But anyway, mm -hmm. he called us up like, "Yo, you know, I got a half a milli, man. That motherfucker hit." Yeah. Period. So that's <clears> when the old publishing is valuable. Yeah, real shit. I didn't know that you get real paid shit. from these other ways in the game. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm thinking it's only show money, your yeah. advance money. Yeah. I'm not knowing about the residual yeah. part of the game and all that shit. So we learned that shit on the fly. Yeah. Speaking of publishing, I want to ask you kind of. Uh, and our manager, uh, shout out to our manager, yeah. AJ Pavel. We like, man, get your publishing company yeah. from the rip. Since let me let me ask you on, this. I mean, since we did ice cream, we had a publishing company. Yeah, let me ask you a publishing question. I mean, you can answer it or not, but like even with y'all sampling the 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 club nouveau thing, oh, we had to pay. Yeah, a big yeah. heavy heavy. You know, uh, fucking Jay King wasn't playing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was curious at that because when they use the your shit, yeah, yeah, when they use your shit on the the movie, what was it? Us. Yeah, yeah. Right. Do, was you able to see anything, or did what? did Club Nouveau? I didn't know if Club Nouveau what? was like they use our song, not Club Nouveau. So whatever they get off of our song is okay. what they get. Okay. But they didn't have to. Yeah, they had to go through us for that. You oh, know what I mean, damn. they got our song on there. They didn't okay. do rumors. They did. I got five on. It. Yeah, but and, but and Club five Nouveau on it is ain't different. Atta ain't attached to that. They get because... publishing from it. Right. Right. Yeah, but they didn't have to go. That's our song. Okay. You know what I mean? Period. They didn't have to go. We already cleared the sample. Okay. The splits is already there. They didn't yeah. have to go. I got to get through. Clearance through Club Nouveau, they had to go to that's, Clearance through us. That's what I was asking without asking. Yeah, I wasn't trying to, go, to get in your business, but yeah. yeah. So so you us. just said splits. So obviously y'all got some of the publishing. Yeah. Club Nouveau wasn't like, nah, fuck that nigga. We a license this they shit. Get they publish we get, it. Okay. Yeah, they didn't get no no <clears throat> upfront bread or yeah. none of that shit. Cause you know, some motherfuckers would be, they'll be like, nah, nigga, but we everybody, got a percent I tell shit. you, everybody on the song got paid. Even yeah. the niggas on the remix got a check. Okay. Everybody oh, got a check on that song. Yeah, yeah, real shit. Real everybody shit. got paid, nigga. Spice <clears throat> one, everybody got paid off Shout that other movie. Spice, E40, yeah. everybody, Richie Rich, everybody got a check. So, hey, so I'm curious, was you around when the shit went down with C and H and uh, Short and them? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. That's why we was beefing with Short because yeah. we came in the game with Short. Yeah. C and H was dangerous music, right? You know what I mean? Crew, they all together. And when Ted and C split, I mean Ted and Short split. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It was like you know you got the Ted yeah. side and you got. The show side, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and we was on the Ted side, you know what mm -hmm. I mean. CNH, all them was with Ted, you know mm -hmm. what I mean. So that's the side we was on, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Period. So you know when just from them, you know beefing or whatever yeah. they was going through, 
you know, with CNH, like that Summer Jam shit wasn't the first time. Like they was beating up CNH everywhere. All the picnics and shit, he getting <laughs> stumped out. Like he was a human pinata for a minute. So <laughs> Damn. yeah, they was doing him bad. And we, we was tired of it. Like yeah. this nigga came, so we started rapping, like defending this nigga. Yeah. Like you can't be doing our executive producer like that. <laughs> nah, huh? Why was they catching CNH down bad so many fucking times? That, he just. He was doing a, a lot of pillow talking and shit and yeah. disrespecting real ones in the game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shit like that. And uh -huh. like they say that he the reason why Dangerous Music split up. Oh wow. Him and uh Ted and Short split up mm -hmm. because of some shit that seeing they some pillow talk to mm -hmm. try to take back or hate on. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So once that start happening, you know what I mean? That nigga said a human pinata. That's funny. Yeah, they was on that nigga helmet, man. He was <laughs> yeah. Tap dancing on that nigga back and his perm, man. Like, <laughs> so how how many albums did you do with CNH? Uh, two before I went mm -hmm. to rap a lot. Okay. Yeah, only let two. me let me ask you this. Let me go three back to with the EP. Thing. Three with the EP. Let me go back to just so because I know the fans is gonna want to know. So during the No Limit shit, or you, I shouldn't even say No Limit. You had an issue with P. You know what I mean? Right. Right. So. Right. Uh, did, did y'all ever run across each other before it was like, was it ever any I tension? I was on rap a lot, man. So uh -huh. Jay and P is, is tight, yep. you know what I mean? So yep. Jay and P already yep. talk, uh, it's entertainment, yeah. man. You know what yeah. I mean, period, you know? Yeah. Let bro get off his shit, you get off your shit. P was sending subliminals back to, yeah. you know what I mean? I've been on the plane with Mystical and the security. Mm -hmm. Niggas is just chilling. It wasn't yeah. no like, oh, there that nigga go, It was go just rap him. shit. It, it was, was just, just rap shit. shit. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't no like street yeah. shit. Jay Prince wasn't trying right. to go at Master P on no right, street right. shit. And he's like, yo, we yeah, doing Jay this Prince fam. homies and thug album yeah. with, with, with yeah. face. Like, you know what I mean? We cool, that nigga yeah. rapping. Like that, let that shit, like shit. He let me go yeah. at, at Face, mm -hmm. like when Face left, <laughs> nigga, I, he let me get on Face Helmet. You know did what I mean? You? What'd you get on Face Helmet for? Cause Face did a song with Too Short called uh -huh. uh, called Something, and they both was on my helmet. You know what <laughs> I mean? Face came through my, cause he left rap a lot. You yeah, know what I mean? So yeah. he started talking shit about me and shit, subliminals. Why? Like, so why oh. you think Face was talking shit about you? Because I did a video called Still Balling, man. Mm -hmm. And I use all Jay Prince shit, Jay Prince house, mansion, Bentleys and shit, everything, uh -huh. nigga, all types of shit that I didn't have. Yeah. And he was rapping about that, like you and another nigga car smoking his cigars in a nigga house, <laughs> doing the laws, like, like, oh yeah, he was like, he shitted on me. I'm like, ah, oh, nigga, all right, nigga, yeah. like, you gonna come like that? So, man, I look up the face. I'm about to say, you had to be low key honored. I look up you had the to, face. Hold on, you had to low key be honored, just a little bit. Hell no, I was mad. Come on, bruh. I looked it, up the face yeah, when I first came to rap a lot. I told this nigga, you're my favorite fucking artist, my nigga. Like, yeah, a lot of people Yeah, you're the artist. reason why I fucking yeah, rap, my face nigga. Shit, bro. Yeah, so I'd it, have been it hurt me, yeah, nigga. I was yeah. more hurt. Like, I expect yeah. short, short going, you know, yeah. talking this shit, but I ain't never had a problem with face. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what but was face and rap a lot like? had a problem. So I'm oh. rap a lot. Oh, I see. So it's like he getting okay. that rap a lot okay. by getting yeah, at yeah, me. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. was longevity the song? That's when you longevity. About? Hell yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They was they was on the kid helmet, yeah. man. No Frank Ocean, <laughs> man. I'm like, oh uh, man, not face. I yeah. show go do. The show talk yeah. about the battle rap that happened yeah. with Rap and Ron and she yeah. got toast by Rap and Ron. Yeah, at least yeah. you know where it's coming from. Right. Why it's and I'm like, yeah, damn, yeah. Yeah. these niggas, they say shit about Numb. <laughs> like, Numb is a nigga that said, that's why the town got rid of Show. I ain't say nothing about Show. <laughs> nigga on my helmet, like nigga showed. I ain't do nothing, man. It's numb. Remember, numb said that's why the town got rid of show. Now yeah, yeah. Showed on my helmet. That's why rapping Ron. Ah shit. Oh, then here shit, comes face. Good old you in a nigga car and smoke your god, <laughs> nigga. You ain't got no Bentley, nigga. Oh wow. Oh, Damn. Nigga, right, but you say, oh man, let you get him though. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, so why yeah. you think why you think Jay go ahead and let Cause you they was it? going at it. Okay. Like face left rap a lot, <laughs> yeah, nigga, yeah. with the death jam yeah. inside Ludacris. He's yeah. doing good. Ludacris yeah. is fucking shit up. Yeah. So yeah, he's doing great and they ain't seeing eye to eye. Nigga, yeah. they ain't cool. So Jay like get him. You know what I'm saying? He ain't saying? like get him. I just I got him. And yeah. then he didn't tell me to stop. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? He's like, oh, nigga, you can't be doing that, nigga. Like, you let it get off. Yeah, like, yeah, I assume yeah. he let it get off because they probably wasn't seeing eye to eye. He yeah, didn't yeah, say, hey, man, sure. go get face. Like, nah, it wasn't nothing like that. Okay. Like, the face and him like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at that time, they had split up. They, yeah, you so don't want to see eye to eye. Yeah. So he let me get it off. You so know? how did you how did you come across signing a rap a lot anyway? How did that you know? Cause you you in the Bay, my nigga. That's Houston. Like, what, right. how did that come? Shout, shout out Seagram. to shout out to Seagram. Seagram, you know the okay. mob. All the mob was already at rap a lot since mm -hmm. the eighties and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean, and I did the song with Seagram. Got on his shit while he was still alive. Rest in peace. Mm -hmm. That came out on rap a lot. And um, also <clears> we <throat> label mates. We mm -hmm. all on Virgin Records. Jay Prince had a joint venture. 
with Virgin sure Records. Yeah. So once yeah. we did the five on the shit, Tone Capone blew up. So mm -hmm. they hired Tone Capone to start doing beats, <clears throat> the Scarface mm -hmm. shit. Him and Mike Dean both did the Untouchable album. Yeah, dope so, ass album. So while they working on Untouchable, we all in the same studio together, Enterprise Studio, which is like right up the street, literally. Mm -hmm. Enterprise Studio, where all the big celebrities and shit work at when they come to LA. Mm -hmm. Different rooms, different floors and shit. So while they work on face shit, you know what I mean? While face would be right and they come in the studio, work on our shit, the mm -hmm. Looney shit at the same time, <clears throat> Lunatic Music, our second second album. Mm -hmm. So none was out partying like a rock star. We just got this half a million dollar record deal. I mean, a publishing deal. We just got mm -hmm. this big ass advances from the new album. Mm -hmm. He's out there rock star. So when niggas are coming to the studio, it's just me in there. Mm -hmm. They'd see me in the studio all the time, wouldn't see none. So Jay Prince would come through there, check it out. You know what I mean? Well, you jamming and boom, dip. Month, uh, weeks later, come back through. You know what I mean? You jamming. Mm -hmm. Boom. We can come <clears> back through. We like, man, you doing all this shit by yourself. You need you need a solo deal. Mm -hmm. And me being solid, you know what I mean? I never thought about a solo deal. I'm like, it's loonies. We mm -hmm. a group. You know what I mean? I never thought about a solo deal. And he was like, yo, you, you doing it by yourself. You might as well. Because I was just leaving this verse open. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And coming up with the hooks. They singing the hooks and shit, everything. And. You know what I mean? It's like, you doing this shit by yourself, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you smoke a lot. You know yeah. what I mean? That's when we got the monikers, drank a lot and smoke a lot for the second album. He said, you smoke a lot. You need to be out rap a lot. Yeah. I said, yep, you're right. <laughs> so he, li he liked your, your work ethic. Yeah, my work yeah. ethic. He seen me getting it in. He seen he knew I could put an album together by just mm -hmm. seeing me put the whole shit together without none being mm -hmm. there. Period. So after that, you know, I was signed to rap a lot. After okay. This, after the second Looney's album. Yep. So what was that like being on rap a lot? Was it different than being on Virgin directly and being with oh, CNH? Definitely. Man. What was the perks that came with being with the infamous rap a lot and being under J? You know, that's a whole different type of influence. Man, the, um, just just the um availability that I had with anything. Like mm -hmm. it's still Virgin, so I'm still able to mm -hmm. work with the Doll Pounds, all the people that, all the big people I need to work with, all the big producers and shit I need to work with. Um, all the features I need, all the shit I need is just done. Mm -hmm. And I ain't got nobody over my shoulder saying, do this, do that, and here's this, and here's that. Like, CNH was over our shoulder a lot trying to say, do this, work with mm -hmm. that. Like, I chose the producers I wanted to work with. He lined it up and shit, rap a lot. Like, as much as Jay Prince would focus on the artists, he had focus on the producers, too. Mm -hmm. So you got John Beto over there. You got yep. motherfucking... Um, Mike Dean. Mike Dean. <laughs> you got uh, goddamn... Um, uh, Mr. Lee over there. Yeah, you got um, shit. Heard them bad. Was uh, was Pimp C UGK over there? That time? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about the producers. Yeah. You got heard them bad. You got everybody over there. You got the nigga that did all the shit for Ja Rule and them. <clears throat> um, seven. Yeah, seven. You got right. seven over there. You know what I mean? So he <clears throat> had an array of dope ass producers. My nigga, mm -hmm. period. So I could just choose from the the producers yeah. he had. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mike Dean was quoted he had as the creme de la creme, bro. Because Mike fucking Dean's producers. Beast. Mike yeah. Dean is uh, went over there with Kanye. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dean's he's still doing his thing. Yeah, with Jay and Kanye and yep. shit. Like, he's considered the best dude that mix and master besides Dr. Dre. Right. Period. <clears throat> his beats is fucking bananas. Because Mike Dean plays every fucking instrument. Yeah. He's a white guy. He's a you white guy. A lot of motherfuckers don't know that. a white guy he's white. will make this soulful yep. ass music, yeah. man. So, that was the main... I was fucking <clears throat> with Tone and Mike, like... Yeah. Mainly the whole album, period, because yeah. we smoke and we vibe. You know what yeah. I mean? A lot of niggas didn't smoke. Yeah. Me, Mike, and Tone burning it down. You yeah. know what I mean? Coming up with the dopest shit. Yeah. So, um, yeah, just the freedom I had, um, you know, and that's how I learned how to be independent. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, and start a record label. I mean, I've been at the record label started, but run a record label. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Sending invoices and faxes and mm -hmm. shit and, and contracts and shit and you know what I mean? Paying for this, paying for that, So your time. record label was through Rap A Lot or you had that doing something? No, 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 no. I had a record um, record label already because I okay. had a deal at Geffen okay. at first before I went to Rap oh, wow. A Lot with my uh, artist Fats Balsalini. Okay. So I had him at Geffen mm -hmm. and uh, we had left Geffen because they had merged with a MC RCA <clears throat> or some shit like that. <clears throat> and at that time they had Mary J. Blige <clears throat> and you know all the senior yeah. groups. We didn't think they knew what they was going to do with the fucking rap. All they had was Common. Yeah. So we dipped because we had a mm -hmm. def, uh, deal on the table with Def Jam, Warren mm -hmm. G and them shit. So we dipped. But that shit didn't fall through. So I already had my label mm -hmm. and shit when I went to rap a lot. I had an artist deal. But him seeing me, I started doing this DVD called United Girls of America. Mm -hmm. And I went and got a deal somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And he kind of intercepted, intercepted the motherfucking deal like this going to be on rap a lot. So yeah. after that, he gave me a record, a joint mm -hmm. venture. 
You yeah. know what I mean? Like, okay, nigga, you're gonna be doing all these extra projects and shit, mm -hmm. nigga. I'm gonna give you your own deal too. So I nice. had a label deal, I mean a joint venture deal and an artist, and an artist deal. deal. Oh, yeah. that's dope. That's mm -hmm. dope. The only one besides Scarface that had that deal. Yeah. Did yeah. you move uh to Houston or you stayed in Cali? No, I stayed in Cali. Oh, okay. I couldn't do it. Yeah. I'm a Why? city. Houston I'm a city too slow. Boy. Nah, it ain't too slow. I mean, it's too fast. What, Houston? Yeah, it's too fast. Like, you know what Compared I mean? Compared like, to LA? Nah, I'm just saying, like, far as um street activity shit. Uh, I'd be out yeah. there back into the streets. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of, it was a lot of money out there I could have got if I was still in my my dope dealing yeah. heyday. Man. Yeah, I just yeah. wanted, ah, let me get out of here, man. <laughs> man, you got the weed. You want me to always bring the weed. You got the weed, the weed. You got the lean, you got the weed. No, I don't, nigga, I rap. Nigga, you yeah. got Sherm, you got, no, I don't, I rap. Yeah. So I'm like, nah, nigga, let me stay where yeah. I'm at. If yeah. I would have got out there, I would have been doing all types of wild yeah, shit. They yeah. would influence me because there's you. so much money out there. Niggas making a lot of money. I'm like, ah. Yeah. That's why I moved from Oakland to yeah. get away from that life. I mean, you can't rap and have one foot in the streets. Yeah. You got to get that shit up. Yeah, real period. shit. So real shit. moved away from Oakland to get away from the streets. Mm -hmm. Why would I go back to Houston and get right back in the fucking streets? What was your most successful album that you put out on rap a lot? Thugged out the ablation that yeah. that one uh that's platinum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. First, uh, what was solo. the what was the lead single on there? Shit, Pac was still balling. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. when I um did <clears throat> still balling dedication to mm -hmm. Pac. Mm -hmm. Um, got the Outlaws on the remix. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, after that, bought the Outlaws at rap a lot and got yeah. them a deal. Oh, nice. Yep. And you did how many uh records with uh rap a lot? Uh, da, 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 da. I had a seven seven album. I had a five album with two options. You okay. know what I mean? So I did my, I did four. Okay. I did four okay. and got up out of there. But as far as my joint venture and all that shit, mm -hmm. um, seven. Okay. Cause nice. I did two, uh, two United Ghettos and uh, a Thug Lords with okay. me and Sebo. Thug Lords, yeah. Yep. So is that, you started the regime, when did, what was that before? I started the regime the when we yeah. did the second album on the Loonies right. with yeah. Killers on the Payroll. That right. was like the beginning of the regime. Right, yep. right. Recipes so, Gonzo. Recipes yeah, Pretty Recipes Black. to the homie Gonzo, uh -huh. yeah. Recipes uh, Jay Stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, got a couple dudes. Oh, Diesel, I mean, uh, fucking um, Govmatic. Yeah. With Diesel Don, rest in peace, man. Mm -hmm. A few of my brothers passed, man, definitely. So get to the Thug Lords with you and Bo. What's it like working with Sebo? The infamous Sebo. Dream come true. Another one of them dudes I looked up to yeah. when I was growing up, one of them yeah. dope-ass rappers. So um, when we finally linked, it was on some dissing, dissing y'all again, yeah, man. Yeah. Our first song together was called Spray Yourself, man. Yeah. He talking about when he ran off with the money from Master P to 100,000. Uh -huh. 100, and I'm talking about what I say, spray yourself. But I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm talking about everybody rapping like somebody else and shit. I'm saying yeah. he trying to be like pop, yeah, whatever I'm saying. Shit. Yeah. Right, so mm -hmm. that's how we came together. And then after that, the vibe was so dope on Spray Yourself. <laughs> like, we need to do a whole album. Nice. That's when nice. we came up with the Thug Lords. So the Thug shit. Lords, y'all did that independently? Nah, we had a deal. Rap a lot. Uh -huh. I went through Rap a lot. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. You still tied with Rap a lot? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. I talked to the old man at the fight. I was just in Vegas. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I didn't yeah. get to catch up with him, but definitely hit him on a text like I'm in the city. But we had a show the same night. Yeah. Yeah. So he was out there wiggling and doing his thing with yeah. uh with uh with Shakur Steven yeah with yeah. Shakur Stevenson whatever yeah you know congratulations on the win too yeah that was a nice talk. one yeah. but uh yeah that's that's Jay he, he yeah. got them champs you know yeah, what I mean man. I was there when when he got Floyd man when yeah. Floyd was was when <laughs> he wasn't money Mayweather he yeah. was just Pretty Boy I was there when it was Pretty Boy <laughs> Floyd. Yeah. Before yeah. he became Money Mayweather you yeah. know what I mean but Jay made that man Money Mayweather yeah. I watched go from night today mm -hmm. with that shit, man. Mm -hmm. From from a, a bubble eye Lexus to a Lamborghini, like yeah. real quick. Like, yeah. yeah, I seen it go from night to day. Yeah. See OJ Prince mm -hmm. a lot of credit, but he did it himself too, his yeah. work. work but as far as the, the connections yeah. and, and taking them to the next level financially. Yeah. Jay Prince had a lot to do with that. What did about you? what about <clears throat> rewinding back though? Cause cause still balling was a hit on that album, but what was your relationship with Pac? And you were on tour with Biggie. Oh, it's all man. kind of the same era. My thing, I had, I was closer to Big than Pop. People going, wow. I, I never Why knew I that. made Pop? We still balling is because we had a million. I love Big Papa songs, and nobody mm -hmm. made a dedication to Pop out of all the Death Row niggas, out of everybody that had, you know, what I mean, mm -hmm. affiliations. Richie even. Rich had one though, right? Nah, it was Tretch. 
Tretch oh, had one. Yeah. Tretch had one out of anybody, but that's before I made Still Bar. I think me and Tretch shit came out around the same time. But it's like three years after Pac is dead. This shit mm -hmm. should have came out soon as Pac died. Right. You know, so with that being said, I was like, let me make a dedication <clears throat> song. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I done met Pac fucking with Digital Underground, of course, yeah. but we wasn't the best of buddies like that. Right. Yeah, you know I mean, um, he loved us, you know what I mean? We supposed to get on uh fucking um one nation. One Nation with you, him shouting us out yeah. and shit on the Matter shit. Matter of fact, he shouted y'all out on representing. Right, right. Strictly for my niggas. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, Numb and Drew down end up getting on One Nation. I was in jail, LA mm -hmm. County. So mm -hmm. I missed that studio session, but I've been in, in Can Am with Pac and shit, all types of shit. So, mm -hmm. but he wasn't my buddy, buddy like that. They was older and shit. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to make a dedication song because he didn't have one. Mm -hmm. I wasn't Pac's best friend, none of that shit. But Big, that was my nigga. Where'd you and how, how, how did y'all connect? On tour, me and yeah. Big connected on tour. Yeah. I was the weed man on tour, I'm fresh <laughs> off the block. I'm like, nigga, I'm about to kill him. Nigga, I'm about yeah. to sell these ounces that I bought for 300 <laughs> for $900 each to these New York niggas. I'm gonna beat they ass. I got shit getting sent to hotels and shit. I'm beating they ass. I'm selling weed to Faith Evans, Biggie, <laughs> Tretch. Every nigga, I was the weed nigga. They yeah. loved me, nigga. Like, yeah. Yuck, what, like, you see it on foot. Like, yo, what that bomb by Z? Like, like you see Biggie yeah. and then walking by me on shit. Like, yo, yeah. what that weed at, son? <laughs> I'm see you at the room, B. <laughs> so, yeah, Big, but three days before he died, you know what I mean? I tapped in with him. He needed some weed. I brought it to his hotel. I ain't the weed man no more, but yeah. I'm in LA. I know where to grab you, son. Yeah. So I grabbed him some weed, brought it to um the Four Seasons. And um yeah, they, that's when um they got the first got the crush on you <clears throat> video back. Mm -hmm. The one where they got the ice yeah. and she got the colorful mm -hmm. wigs and shit. So he got the, the fucking VHS and he playing mm -hmm. in the room like, oh shit, little C. He's like, oh shit, mm -hmm. we about to kill her, we about to go. Like, you know what I mean, hella excited. Mm -hmm. So he said they about to play it on MTV on Monday, the following Monday, this is Saturday. You know what I mean? So talk to Big, him the weed shit. They talking about how much they love Pac and why Pac think he set them up in mm -hmm. quiet studios, this, that, and the third. And mm -hmm. you know what I mean? They was homies, this, that, and the third. He started talking about fate. Uh, nigga don't never get married. <laughs> that nigga, I, what he said? He said, "Don't never get married, my nigga." <laughs> he told me that, nigga. He's like, "Damn, that shit is whack, b." Yeah, Damn, that shit is whack, man. <laughs> this is goddamn faith out here fucking around, man. Got me looking bad. Damn, fuck that, b. Don't get married. Yeah. I'll just hit him up. Was out. Yeah, yeah. So that, yeah. Don't don't get so, married, b. So this is during kind of, I guess, the height of the East West thing. Where'd you stand in that? Um, I was neutral because mm -hmm. I knew Biggie. Like we just did a did the the crush on. I mean, uh, satisfy you remix with Puff. You know, yeah. Puff we did five on it. Right. So we did the satisfy you remix with the R. Kelly shit on it. So we was good with Puff and them. We yeah. just got a thirty thousand dollar check from Puff. Like I ain't mad at that nigga. Right. And I I <clears> think <throat> that the media by magazine For sure. pumped it up to make it like it was the East Coast West right. Coast. It was the Death Row versus Bad Boy thing. Right. That was right. it. It wasn't no East Coast versus West Coast. Right. So I'm not on death row or bad boy. So I was just neutral. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever did you ever hear or felt like some of the East Coast artists that did kind of participate in it was taking aim at y'all? Was it any subliminals or you um know what I, mean? I think I think a lot of the East Coast niggas was taking shots at Pac. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Cause they was and Snoop and them mm -hmm. for, the, for them doing a New York, New York yeah. video and shit. So they was mad at Snoop and yeah. Pac. So they started doing their songs and yeah. shit. You know, but it still was aimed at death row. Yeah. You know, they didn't say shit about the bay. You know, right. 40, um, Biggie said something. That damn nigga got him fucked up by 40. In mm -hmm. Sacramento. Yeah. yeah he said, I don't like the E40s, the whoop, whoop, whoop on one of them interviews. Rashad, yeah. Rashad, wasn't it? Yeah. Some. Rashad, Rashad Wallace. Rashid yeah. Wallace. Rashid yeah. Wallace. Yeah. yeah, all that yeah. shit. That so, was Rashid Wallace. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was Rashid Wallace? Yeah, because yeah, E40 yeah. responded with that uh, player hate. Yeah, player hate. Yeah, yeah. No, but then, no, for uh, Biggie said some shit like that too. Did he? Yeah. I think it was at a show or something, right? Biggie he said something. They, yeah. they highlighted in the yeah, movie. Yeah, he said Sacramento. something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said something on the radio about he don't mm -hmm. fuck with E40. But mm -hmm. uh, but 40's uh, security, Omar, uh, he's he's from Sac. Mm. So they they you know they got people in Sacramento. Mm. Nah, we Omizi. lined that. Omizi. Yeah, yeah, nah, we nah we lined that up because yeah. we was on tour. Oh, there mm -hmm. you go. So we made the connection go down. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They didn't know nobody <clears> in in the Bay Area. Biggie don't know nobody out there. Puff don't. We yeah. lined that meeting up. C and H. Okay. No, I'm saying what happened in the in Sacramento though. Isn't that the story that like someone in Sac heard the, the comment that they had made? 
I feel nah, like nigga, it's... 40 of them heard it. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they okay. were about to nigga, tear that motherfucker up. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and CNH had to get these niggas together, you know what I mean? Because they was about to shut the show down. Mm -hmm. Period. Like, nah, we ain't shutting the show down. We still performing. Let's get these niggas together. Let them talk. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But they was about to skip the show. We damn near wasn't going to do sack. You know what I mean? Until yeah. they had that talk and yeah. boom, we was able to do sack. I'm curious. How'd you connect? Because uh, I'm from Kansas City originally, Missouri. How did you connect with Tech? How did that come oh, man, about? Same thing, man. Um, working on the second album, man. He was uh, signed to Quincy Jones. Mm -hmm. QD3. QD3. And um, he was living with QD3 mm -hmm. at the time. And uh, we was getting beats from QD3 for mm -hmm. the second album. Mm -hmm. So while we working on our shit, you know what I mean? And we, we done we playing the shit back. He's like, yo, let me play you my artist. And he play mm -hmm. Tech 9 with the wake up show shit. And he rapping backwards and shit. I'm like, this motherfucker's crazy. Like, who the fuck is he? Like, yeah, that's my artist. New name. Matter of fact, he's upstairs. Come yeah. down, nigga. He was living with him at the time, Ball yeah. Hills. So he come downstairs, like, spiky hand mm -hmm. shit. And you like, yo, Tech Nine, it's the loonies. Just yuck my mouth. Like, whoa, 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 what's, what's up, my nizzle? Whoa, 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 whoa. And um, yeah, after that, you know, we like, yo, we got to have you on the album, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Period. And mm -hmm. we got him on Killers on the Payroll, which was produced by Mike Dean and Tone Capone. Mm -hmm. So we got him on Killers on the Payroll. And then after that, me and Tech been rocking ever since. Mm -hmm. Period. You know what I mean? That was the beginning of the regime. Yeah, real <laughs> shit. What do you think about the, the, the kinship that we've always had with Kansas City and the Bay, both in the streets and musically? I think that's our cousins. Period. I think that's the Bay Area 2.0. Hell yeah. Factors, yeah, always. man. Um, you know, uh, Rich the Factor, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? He yeah. always had that bridge, that connection from Frisco, JT, yep. JT and always had that mm -hmm. connection from just Rich the Factor. Yeah. Period. And I think that had a lot to do with it on top of the Mac Dre shit, on yep. top of, you know what I mean, a lot of other connections out there. Messy Mar was out there tearing shit up. Yep. Just the whole Frisco Vallejo connection, you know what I mean? Yep. Period. Yo, really, out there, yo. Yeah, yeah. The whole Frisco Vallejo connection really lined that up. And then, you know, Oakland niggas start sliding through after that. Yeah, real shit. Yep. Yeah, we grew up on, on Bay Area music, you know what I'm saying? I grew up on Spice One. E forty, you know what I'm saying? Uh Mac Dre, Mac Mall, you know, right. JT. Mac Mall, you can't forget Mac Mall. Yeah, Mac Mall. You know, <clears throat> that first you album. Waterman? Mm -hmm. Uh Pass that, that, that first Thank album you, sir. that uh Mac no, Mall. No, we had. make your mouth dry. Hell yeah. Got my <laughs> shit drying a bitch. I don't this, smoke, this, so you know this right. shit. <laughs> um what was that Second first Second hand cotton mouth? <laughs> what, was, what was that first album Mac Mall had with This Is My Opinion? This um, is my opinion. Yeah, that's the, that's what it was called. <laughs> no, was it? Yeah, my opinion. I think the album's called My Opinion because he wrote a book. Okay. Shout out his book called yeah, My yeah, Opinion. So I yeah. think it was called My Opinion, the album. Yeah. Or Young Black Youngster, Young Something. Yeah, it was Young. Yeah, I think you're right. Young yeah. Black Brother, something like young that. Young Black Brother. Yeah. yeah young yeah, Black yeah. Brother. So with the uh, with the Kansas City uh, Bay Area thing, we can't, you know, we, we'd be remiss if we didn't talk about, you know, the whole Mac Dre thing. Oh man! Yeah. Was you was in? Yeah. Was you around? You was in the city. I was there. Yeah. Same thing with Biggie. I was there two days before. You know yeah. his demise, man. We all mm -hmm. got booked out there, man. And um, mm -hmm. it was some janky promoter shit. They didn't have our back end. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And dude was talking about stay at the hotel until he hit the block and mm -hmm. you know get us our back end. I'm like, no, nah, I want to fly. This yeah. is, you could Western Union or Money Grammy. I'm going back home, mm -hmm. period. I ain't about to sit at no hotel, man, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So it just felt like janky. I ain't gonna say the promoter had nothing to do with Mac. This is a whole yeah. separate show. Yeah. This is the show that got us all out there, that got Mac Dre out there. Okay. So Mac Dre, while we waiting around, I mean, I guess he was waiting around, people start booking him for other shit. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. Verses and shows and shit. Yep. Halloween was coming up, so they booked mm -hmm. him on Halloween for a couple gigs. Mm -hmm. So he had to do one <clears> show and had to go to another show or whatever. And then after he left the other show, he got shot up. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> so that's how that happened. But you was already gone. I was gone. Oh, okay. I was gone two days okay. before that. Okay. Yeah. You went to the Bay or you came back here to LA? I came back to LA. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was what was the LA at the time. Let me ask you, you being a Bay dude, you know what I'm saying? And being loyal to your story, were you and Mac Dre close? Oh, that was my best friend. That okay. was my nigga, nigga. Like, yeah, that. yeah. That was what was the guy. climate in the Bay? Because I remember when it happened. Niggas wasn't coming to Kansas City. No, real shit. Because I'm gonna mad. tell you, I had niggas. Because I know a lot of niggas in Oakland, and I remember. We I was, just I now we start still going back. Like, like within the yeah. last five yeah. years, five six years, I just start going yeah. back. Like yeah. the Jacker cleared it up when the yeah. Jacker start going out there with yeah. Burner and them. That yep. that. 
that got shit back popping to me. Yeah, it was then, it was funky for a what? minute because I remember when it happened, I, my nigga from Oakland hit me and he specifically told me, he said, listen, dog, he said, man, I'm gonna tell you, he said, it ain't cool for y'all out here no, right now. Not. Uh-huh. And he said, I, I done heard conversations. He said, he said my name. He said, I heard a nigga say, he named, just named Tech. It was Tech, of course, Rich. Right. At the time I was court dog, they was like, they said you too. They said, none of you niggas, like Kansas City is no. Until right. they figure out what's what. What's going down, so is right. that that's what it was in the bay? Was that I didn't get no word like uh-huh. that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I just knew that we weren't going out there. Yeah. Like we was like, oh niggas ain't cool. Like yeah. they we thought they loved Dre. Yeah. We thought they loved and they did. niggas. And then for, and they do. For, for that to happen, we like, oh it's, yeah. you know, we don't we ain't, we don't know what's going on yeah. out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because Dre was their favorite. Like what Real they gonna shit. do to us. Real right. Shit. You know what I mean? So yeah. we, we thought it was home. Like I don't know yeah. if niggas thought we was yeah. gangbangers or something. I ain't know what what the whole issue yeah. was. I still yeah. don't know what the issue was. You yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah. We well, know. I mean, you know, I can say that Kansas City, you know, um, cleaned out his own backyard. You know what I'm saying? Right, they they right. cleaned their own right. shit up. You right. know what I mean? Because right. uh, a lot of people was was putting that on Tone, on Fat Tone. Right, rest in peace, Tone. Yeah, That's rest my in nigga. peace, Fat Tone. Hell yeah. Nah, that was just, right. you know, rumor and all that shit. But, you know, yeah, Kansas City cleaned out his own closet. You know what I mean? But, um, so when the shit happened with Fat Tone, you know, what, what, you know, what was your, how did that, you know, what was your position on that? Because you got Mac Minister, who's riding on really a lie, you know what I'm saying, or right. what he believed it to be, but he's riding for the Bay. Which right. Did you have a relationship with Mac Minister? Hell yeah, Mac was yeah. on all my skits and shit, all yeah. the shit, so. It's like, and I had a relationship with Tone. Yeah, you know, I'm recording with Tone. Tone was fucked with Sibo, West mm-hmm. Coast Mafia Killer at the time. time. Yep. So, so, you know what's all, funny? At the time, yeah, we all I went family. to the Bars Awards, and Mac Minister, and I saw you and Mac backstage. I was filming for them back then. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And I saw y'all backstage, and then I also fucked, because I'm from SAC, uh, there was a Black Armor Rock. Remember Black Armor Records? Rock used to fuck oh, yeah, with Black Sibo. Black Armor, right, mm-hmm. right, and, uh, right. And Fat Tone. He fucked with both of them. He'd right. bring them to SAC to do verses and shit. So in that same week, I saw you at the Bars Wars. I saw them there, and it was yeah, fucking, what, it was funky. Like that's everybody, that's what Numb tried to go up there and talk that shit about me, nigga. And the whole regime, rest yo, the both stage. of y'all, both of y'all were backstage because we should get to that. <laughs> yeah, I remember know, thinking it's weird shit about me since the Bars Awards. <laughs> hey, my nigga, so I'm like, a fan. So, nothing. So like, what happened? Hey, so, so I'm a fan it, as a fan. <laughs> as a fan, <laughs> nothing. I'm filming. I I know Sacramento dudes and I know Spice really well. So like I'm talking to my people. But when I went backstage. He had his people yelling some shit out. Caliban or some shit. Nah, Taliban, yeah. Yeah. So they was backstage and like some fatigues. But Yuck was like a room over. And I was like, yo, I thought they... Because I'm just a fan at the time. So I'm like, I thought they was cool. But there was tension backstage. Right, right. And I was backstage in that little ass hallway. And he was yelling out Taliban and Yuck was over there. And I was like, oh, it's funky over here. And then the stage. And then you could talk about the stage. Yeah, you could talk about the stage. Numb got on stage. I wasn't even in the building yet. I'm outside the building. Mm Numb got on stage. Like, yeah, fuck Yuck, mouth, this, that, and the third. The boy, Pretty Black, rushed up the stage, grabbed the mic from the nigga. It's regime life. Nigga, you better watch your mouth. Nigga, woo, woo, woo. The whole mob rushed the stage, man. So it was about to get ugly. But um, Numb, this is when I'm beefing with G Unit. At the okay. time, right? So this is like 06, 05, some shit like that. So I'm beefing with G on it. Numb is working on his solo album. Mm-hmm. So, you know, 50 Cent made the temperature to where you diss a nigga, you yeah. know what I mean? That that's the new marketing yeah, strategy. Right, right. So Numb think it's the bright idea to make a song dissing me mm-hmm. on his new album to be to promote his new album. I'm like, oh, we was cool. We just yeah. did an album Silver and Black when I'm a Raider on it, like two mm-hmm. years prior. Three years prior, like where this come from? So he dissed me or whatever, and that's why he had the had the energy at the bars awards. Like fuck, yuck, mouth did that mm-hmm. the third nigga. So he got checked for that, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Period. So the dude been had a problem back in the day. I don't so know. So that's what, what I want to get to, bro. Down, so man. listen, y'all brothers, man, y'all done made history I, I together, thought, right? Shit, so you, what? You'll think oh, what, 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 what is the issue, bro? I don't know what he bro. think about me. I don't know. You gotta ask that nigga, man. So you mean to tell it's me the bars awards? He been it's so been hold funky. on. So you ain't never asked this nigga, called this nigga, say, nigga, what is your problem? I what? asked him face to face. What he say? Say it. He, he like, oh, nigga, you done put no money on my books. Like, nigga, you dissed me before I ever put. Like, you ever went to jail, nigga? Like, what are you talking about? So he ain't never explained to you why he dissed you or what? Hell no. Nah. Never. That's why. Oh, what man. you think it's from then? I don't know. I think, I hope it was the G unit shit, but uh-huh. you know, the promotion marketing shit, yeah. but it, I think that's really how this nigga feel about me. 
Why you know what I mean? A lot of people think a lot of people think when I went solo from? that they like I left the nigga mm-hmm. but stranded or something. You could go solo too. Mm-hmm. You could go get your deals, which he did, but it yeah. wasn't as successful as mine. When you went solo, did you include him on your solo? He's shit? on the album. He's on a couple of the albums. Okay. Like I bought the loonies to fucking rap a lot. And we did an album at Rap a Lot, yeah. Silver and Black. So I bought the I bought them to rap a lot. Yeah. Like, so what else could I do? I bought yeah. you over there, nigga, and got you a bag. So it's like, <sighs> nigga, it ain't like I just went solo and left you, nigga. I bought you to rap a lot. We our last album was on rap a lot. Yeah. So yeah. here recently, y'all shit been heating up. I mean, y'all been on it's the clubhouse shit. It's yeah, all this old shit. Yeah, it's going. Now it's let going me ask crazy. you. Now somebody said, now you know, now now correct me if I'm wrong. I know some of the fans and some people were saying, and I ain't gonna lie, I heard whispers up in Oakland when I was right. just up there. Right. They said that you said some shit that you probably shouldn't have said about him that was false. Um, the whole thing was I said uh, that he had to uh, register, which right. was was false. But okay. he did catch an R case. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? And he beat it. You know okay. what I mean? Now, me being naive, I never asked him, not even naive, not caring about it. When he mm-hmm. got out of jail, I didn't give a fuck about it. You my nigga. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to ask you no personal shit about that, getting deep into this shit. You know, mm-hmm. that's your personal. Whatever you do behind closed doors, that's you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? As long as you show up to work and we bust his bag down, I'm good with it. So I never asked him no questions about it when he got out of jail. Mm-hmm. Period. I'm thinking that he got convicted for this shit. I don't know. You know what I mean? Okay. Because the tabloids was... You know, he faced an X amount of time for a R case. The yeah. tabloids never came out when he got out that he beat the case. Okay. You know what I mean? So I never knew that. Mm-hmm. So him, um, three years ago, we ain't been fucking with each other for three years. So three mm-hmm. years ago, he um, steals some money. You know what I mean? He goes get a deal overseas for a vinyl. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And don't include me, CNH, nobody. He just takes all the money. You know what I mean? I find out about the shit. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? The people ready to cut me in CNH a, a check, and they like, well, we gave them all the money. You know, we ain't got no money. Mm-hmm. You know, none was supposed to bust it down with y'all. So I get at none. I'm like, yo, what, what's up with this deal? You know what I mean? He like, yo, stay out my shit. This my own deal, nigga. Stay out my business, nigga. I've been locked up for X amount of years, nigga, and I need my, you know, whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. And hung up on me. Okay. You know what I mean? And I'm like, yo, like. He's supposed to be breaking it down, or you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Why the fuck or trying to include us? Yeah, like, stay out my shit, nigga. This, this is my money. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And it was Looney shit, not no school shit. Operation Stack Ola. Oh shit! Okay. okay, our biggest album. Yeah, vinyl. He did a deal overseas and they give us shit. Damn. So after he hung up, I hung up on him and mm-hmm. stopped fucking with. Him. You know what I mean? I was just the straw that broke the camel back. I done mm-hmm. been through so much shit with this nigga's ridiculous. Yeah. You know what I mean? Period. But that was the straw that broke the camel back. Cause at this time, the Us movie just came out. Everybody's got a huge bag from that. We on tour with Snoop Dogg. Right. Pup up past tour. We got dates. We on a date. I mean, mm-hmm. on a date at the time when mm-hmm. I found out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like, come on, my nigga, money is coming through. It's no right. reason to steal. Right. It's no reason to do no shit like that. And you know, he felt like he did no wrong. So okay, I had to stop fucking with him. So so you think y'all can reconcile? At of course, point. of course, definitely yeah. later on in life. But until he man up, you know, what I mean, yeah. and apologize for the shit that he did, uh-huh. I can't fuck with him until uh-huh. he changed his ways of doing business. Right. I can't fuck with him. Uh-huh. You know, I'm here to keep the brand alive, not fuck up the brand. Yeah. When yeah. you taking money and not showing up at shows and just sending me out to these cities by myself, my life is in danger. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, I'm out here with these promoters. They can either fuck me up. Mm -hmm. Or just say, you know, we're going to work it out. You do your solo shit. Mm -hmm. Thank God I got solo shit I could do. Mm -hmm. And I work it out with him. Okay, we're going to do a Yuck show instead of a Looney show. And Mm -hmm. then you got a deposit on another show because he took the money. So when I got to do shit like that and and keep the bridge going without Mm -hmm. burning the shit, you know what I mean, multiple times, and then you stealing from a nigga and all that, Mm -hmm. it's like, come on, bro. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, what what can I do? Yeah. Like, what what more can I do? kind of tired. Yeah. So What would you do? What would I do? If motherfucker sold mm-hmm. your hottest album overseas, yeah. didn't give you no money. Yeah, I feel You're some doing kind of shows way, sure. and a nigga not showing up to yeah. shows. Yeah, yeah, I feel he getting some you kind kicked of way. off of tours and shit yeah. and whatnot. What yeah. would you do? Yeah, uh, yeah, I feel some kind of way. Yeah, definitely. I feel some type of way. Yeah. Would you separate? The you elevator, don't have a or choice. would you, or, or I would mean, you at keep that, it going? Like, I mean, at you, that point, because the fans and all the homies yeah. in Oakland, everybody like, bro, man, you got to. I mean, like, at that point, on, you don't have I... a choice. You know what I'm saying? You don't have a choice but to keep it going. I mean, like you said, I mean, you doing you, 
your version of the loonies, he's doing him, his version of the loonies, right. you know what I'm saying? I mean, niggas got bills to pay, so you right. can't sit around and wait on a nigga, you know what I mean? I'd be curious to know why he's doing what he's doing, you know, if that's what he's doing. You feel right. me? Right. Well, he, like, he can answer that, man. Yeah. You know, he can answer that. So I know he threw out there, uh, uh, he wanted to shoot the fade. Right. Yeah. So what, what you feel on that? Like, Celebrity boxing. I'm with that. Yeah. I'm getting a bag from that. I'm not about to do no backyard boxing, my nigga. That yeah. ain't happening, my nigga. Yeah. Period. So let me ask you, being that that's your brother, though, yeah. you don't you don't think that y'all could like go to like you said a backyard talk, just you and him fight, whatever y'all need to do, get an understanding, then move forward and get some money. That's what we're gonna do in the celebrity box. Okay, so you like fuck that. If yeah. I'm gonna fight, I want some money. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Yeah. I mean, it makes okay. sense. I mean, if we're gonna do it, let's do it for the bag. Like, why yeah. go in the backyard? Let's make a spectacle of the shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Let's get yeah. a bag out the shit. Now it's gonna uh, uh, create anticipation for the uh, uh, fucking reunited a uh, reunion right. album, reunion right. tour. Right. These niggas done fought. Like, well, when they coming back, like, right. it's gonna, it could be a super bag if we play it right. I see what you're saying. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, see, what I'm, I respect I'm the business, is he's man. always on the business. That's yeah. what yeah. I'm saying. That's what I was about to say. He's on yeah. his business. So you like, fuck the personal shit. We can get past that when we got some money in our pocket. Hell yeah. 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 And continue <laughs> getting money. You know what I mean? Period. Yeah. But, well, we split it up right. Yeah, yeah. Not somebody stealing. Yeah, you know what I mean, like, yeah. like Gonzo on, and what's his name doing the doing the uh, the fight. You yeah, know? Bosco. Bosco and Gonzo, they yep. end up being the best friends best in friends. life. Yeah. Like, best yeah. of friends. Yeah. We, we, was, we, gotta, get, we were gonna have Gonzo. On Gonzo the show. was supposed to come on the show before he got before he passed away. I still got text in my phone from wow, him. Wow, yep. because we had we had uh, we had Bosco yep. on. Mm -hmm. Bosco was ah, the one that cooked shit. it up. Nah, Bos Bosco was cool oh, as fuck. Yeah, 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 but nah, I'm talking yeah. about but they was talking they shit. Bosco yeah. said that's my that's No, my no, they was cool. They, they was cool. cool. Oh, they was yeah, best friends they was already cool time. with that okay. time. And so yeah. Bosco was like, hey, my shit, Gonzo want to come on. I said, yeah, for sure, for sure. So me and uh, Gonzo got to rapping and yeah, he ended up getting killed. So yeah, rest in peace to the yeah. guys, man. Yeah. I talked to him like uh, for a week before uh, it happened, man. Mm -hmm. Before he went to Paradise, man. I was yeah. out in Vegas at the Big Three, fucking with Cube. We, yeah. They hired us to perform. Mm -hmm. And um, he was calling like, yo, tell Cube. I said, what's up, nigga? Congratulations, nigga. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Nigga, proud of you and shit like that. Yeah. And I'm like, hell yeah, tap in, yeah. nigga. We gonna get you on Smoke a lot when you come to LA. Yeah. And nigga, a week later, like the, the bullshit happened, man. Yeah. So rest in peace to Gonzo, man, yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But um, yeah, man, at the end of the day, when you fight a motherfucker, man, you get respect. It's like yeah. when, when the bully used to always pick on you, even though win, lose, or draw, you fight right. back, that bully got respect Good for you respect. from now on. Absolutely, you win, lose, I mean? or draw, as long as you fight back. As long as you fight you. back. So yeah. the respect ain't there. That's mm -hmm. why he's doing the sucker shit. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? If the respect was there, he'd know better. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Period. It's not no respect. Did you so. ever feel like early on, like way back when y'all started and was young, did you ever see, you know, glimpses of what, you know, some flaws in this character maybe? Or or did you did you ever think like, you know what, I see where this shit gonna go? Or what he did hit you left field, how it turned out. It was like, damn, Man, I didn't well, see that coming. Hustling, he was fucking up. Mm. In the streets, he was fucking up. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Coming up short and I had to pay for his shit. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? He was a fuck up when the hustle game. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But he knew how to rap. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? I'm linking up with him on a rap. We ain't hustling no more. We ain't selling rocks. But Got you. that business, you know, hustling teaches you how to handle any type of business. Right. You know what I mean? When you're dealing with money and commerce and selling shit, right. buying shit for low prices, selling for the high. For sure. You know what I mean? Doing There's business. discipline there too. Yeah, and stacking money, finances yeah. and shit, all that. Yeah. It helps you with just daily business, period. Yeah. If you was doing that, if you was good at it, you really know how to handle your business and this rap shit is the same shit. Real you shit. are the product instead of the cocaine or exactly. the weed. You selling you. Mm -hmm. Personality, brand, the whole shit. Yep. So I treat the shit the same. I was good at selling dope. Now I'm good at selling, you know, the brand yeah. and this. If you ain't if you was fucking up doing that, what's gonna make you do good on this as far as financial wise right. and handling the bag and doing yeah. right business. You know what I mean? Yeah. I come from organized crime where we bust it down. Yeah. You take turns, knock on me, knock on you, knock on this. We all buying from the same plug. We all got the same work, but we yeah. all, you know what I mean? Structure. So yeah. it's structured, you yeah. know what I mean? You got the lookout right there. You got right. this one right here. You got the one to grab the money. You got the right. one to go get the dope. It's all structured. Everybody played a position, but everybody getting paid. That's what I come from. That's mm -hmm. the same way I handle business, mm -hmm. period. So. He don't handle business like that. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, it's more of a, a, a narcissist type of situation where it's all about him. And then when you, when you spoil my <clears> nigga, it's <throat> like it's really nothing. When you could go back and you know what I mean, still be good. You know yeah. what I mean. Your family got money and shit, so you really don't 
have to, you know what I mean? Oh, so, that's 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 his background. Yeah, his family got money, man. So okay. he ain't got to do no real street shit. He oh. was doing that shit to be cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so. he ain't from where you from? Hell no. Nah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where's where's Nam from? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> I think he's from. You Lake, grew up with that nigga. I met you? him around Lake Merritt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but I ain't I ain't never went to but his you hood can't or be nothing. From Lake Merritt though, right? He was living there. Oh, okay. Shit. He was, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where he from. You know what I mean, period. I, I never went to his hood or nothing like that. Damn. Yeah, so hold on, been so you niggas, was y'all friends or y'all just rap together? Nah, we was friends. Oh, okay. We was best friends, my nigga. <laughs> okay. We was a dresser like hell and shit. We was okay. best friends, hell yeah. So you never asked him them kind of questions? Like, you know what I'm saying? He, I, if he had a hood, he would've took me to it, I okay. assume. Okay. Yeah, I yeah, know, like, his hood was like where we used to sell dope at. He was, yeah. That, that's yeah. where he from. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't went that's to his funny. real neighborhood. That's like, funny. So you had a stint though where you was a period was you Pearl you was, Street. I think they was claiming Pearl Street by the lake. Okay. Yeah, I think they was claiming <laughs> Pearl Street. You you had a you had a period with you was running with Death Row and Suge at a at a point too, wasn't you? Nah, never. You wasn't? Mm -mm. I don't know why I thought I heard about you running with Suge or something. Nah, I, niggas said that Suge robbed me. I ain't got robbed by Suge. Oh, is that what <laughs> yeah, that was? Yeah, that's what they said in oh, TMZ. Oh, fuck. Okay, I had it fucked up. I thought you was running with Suge. I thought we was nah, going to get some Suge stories. Nah. <laughs> nah, shit. I am not Reggie Wright Jr. Shout out to Reggie. That ain't me. Oh, okay. I mm -hmm. thought you was running with Suge. So they said, why they say you got robbed by Suge? Oh, man, it was an incident that happened. And um, some wild shit happened where I was talking to Suge and end up getting, you know, uh, ambushed. By some other guys and shit, you know what I mean? Okay, Got that's robbed. probably what I heard. Then. Yeah, that's okay. the one where they like took your jewelry. Yeah, or yeah, the ninety thousand. Oh, worth of jewelry okay, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. that's why. I, okay, yeah. maybe that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So yeah, that's that's the one you're talking okay. about. Sugar. Okay, okay. I thought you was running. I don't know the why they keep washing sugar. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And that shit, I got robbed by some real. L.A. Goon, yeah. you know what I mean? That was called to my video shoot strictly to rob me. Doing the shit they doing right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They knew I was there with my <laughs> yeah. OLs and shit. And yeah. Niggas from the video shoot uh -huh. called niggas to oh, come yeah. up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Period. So. That's what I be telling motherfuckers, man. I've been out here 20 years. I tell motherfuckers, man, listen, these LA motherfuckers, they crafty, boy. Very crafty. These motherfuckers. Be the nigga right next to man. you with that Bentley, uh, with the yep. Jewel's on everything, popping bottles and shit. You like, nah, it can't be him. It's <laughs> him, nigga. Yeah, yeah. It's him. Yeah, these motherfuckers got networks of people all over this bitch. You know that what jury I'm got on even robbed niggas for it. <laughs> Don't think he bought that. All that shit. For high. real. Wait, but that car did. is a fucking rental, man. <laughs> niggas, niggas rent that nigga. The you did get shot in, in Oakland, though. Mm -hmm. We skipped over that part. That was. Yeah, I got popped in some street business. Got uh, just discipline. You know what I mean? Straight uh -huh. up. I did some foul shit to an OG. Uh -huh. What I wasn't supposed to do. Me and my homie got discipline. We both got shot. Oh, damn. Yeah, my homie got shot in his kneecaps. I got shot in my butt. Damn. Butt cheek, you know, running away. Luckily, I got, they try to shoot my legs up too and shit, yeah. but I, I was disco dancing and shit. And <laughs> Ronnie Lightning, you know what I mean? I was How old was you when that happened? Oh, shit, man. What, 18? Oh, okay. 18? Yeah, yeah. he's a kid. Uh huh. Yeah, so you probably, the fuck shit you did, you probably didn't even know no better for real, huh? Hell nah, man. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, I let my homie convince me. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, now this is a vicious nigga yeah. that we dealing with. Like, it was a night where my I had a I had a Dolphin rental, mm -hmm. an F one fifty truck <laughs> that I bought for like three hundred dollars worth of crack. That motherfucker was running though. That motherfucker he had donuts in that bitch, everything right. So I had an F one fifty truck. Boom. So my yeah. niggas wanted to go rob this check cashing spot, and they all didn't have enough room in the car, so they wanted to just hop in the back of the motherfucking truck and just ride. Yeah. Like let me borrow the truck. I'm like it's cool. So the OG, the vicious nigga, give me the keys to his car. Mm -hmm. This is stick shit. Mm -hmm. Like, man, if you need to go anywhere, you know, take this motherfucker. I'm like, I don't know how to drive no stick. It's cool. I'm just going to put the shit in my pocket. Mm -hmm. He's like, all right, my nigga, I'll be back. Yeah. This is a vicious villain. Like, he's the nigga that did a lot of shit in our hood. Like, yeah, he ain't, he ain't to be fucked with. I got this nigga keys, mm -hmm. his car keys. My nigga <clears throat> Gigi, man, this is this, this getting hella late at night. We, mm -hmm. Me and my nigga Gigi supposed to go to San Leandro and rob some niggas. <laughs> then the, the fucking sun is going down, nigga. It's nighttime. Like, this goddamn truck F50 ain't came back in four hours. The check cashing is right up the goddamn street, man. Yeah. This motherfucker F150 stayed going for like four hours. I'm like, man, fuck that. Let's go hit our lick. So my nigga Gigi knew how to drive the car. He's like, nigga, yeah. I can drive that shit, man. Let's go. So we <laughs> got a 12 gauge. We go. Try run, nobody out there. We didn't came too late, man. So we come back. Guess who out where we at? 
the vicious nigga, <laughs> them niggas standing on top of the goddamn F-150 with the gauge niggas, niggas all yeah. back and all guns out. We in the village. Yeah. And we govern ourselves. and ain't yeah. no police in that motherfucker. So we pull up like, ah, oh, shit. As soon as we get out the car, nigga hit it, took my nigga 12 gauge, boss, smacked him with the gauge, he run. I'm there by myself. Damn. I get pistol with pop out, get jumped and shit, man. I had the one on one fight, a nigga, all that shit. I won the one on one fight. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm done, all right? Boom, the niggas done jumped me for 20 minutes and shit, man. I got hit with the pistol and yeah. shit. I done beam bopped your nigga up. I'm gone. I start walking off, man. Nigga pulled out the gun, like, stay there, man. Don't move. I'm uh -huh. like, nigga, I'm gone. Nigga, he's like, pop, pop, pop. I'm like, ah, nigga, too. So it's <laughs> time to start tap dancing, nigga. So that's how I got caught in my butt. But Did you know you were shot when you got shot? Hell no. Nah, I felt yeah. like a Charlie horse. Like a nigga just popped the Charlie horse. I ain't, I thought I sprung something. Yeah. Nigga, like, ah, fuck it. I'm gone. Ah. I ain't no shit. I was gone. I don't think he knew he, he hit me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it didn't look like it. Nigga, I was gone. Hit so when that you find out, you out got, when you find out you was hit? Shit, my grandma. I just uh -huh. went and laid down in the bed, like, you uh -huh. know what I mean? Licking my wounds and shit. I just got <laughs> stumped out and shit, all types of yeah. the box niggas and shit. I'm licking my wounds and shit. Granny coming in, like, what's going on? She turned on the light, the whole bed is red. Damn. Blood. She's like, oh my God, what's going on? And I turn around, them fucking blood everywhere. So call the ambulance and shit. Mm -hmm. Get me to the hospital. And this funny shit is that the homie that ran, he ended up being in the same fucking hospital room as me. <laughs> he was there before me. Yeah. Did you call him all kind of bitch ass niggas? And the whole shit, right? <laughs> so the police asking the, the, the shit, you know, they come in and like, what happened? This, I'm yeah. like, I don't know what the fuck happened, man. I was just walking and I got shot, man. Who did it? Where? I don't know yeah. nothing. And he's like, what's your name? I'm like, JJ, man. He's like, what, what's your real name, Joe? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He left. And GG like, JJ! Cause his name was Gigi. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Gigi. He's like, yeah, nigga. I'm like, what the fuck you doing in this motherfucker? He's like, nigga, they got me too. <laughs> I said, what the fuck? I said, I'm shot, nigga. He said, they shot me too, nigga. Five times in my kneecaps, nigga, for running. I said, <laughs> I said how you get here before me, nigga? You been ran, nigga. Uh, it was just hella funny, man. Yeah. So, yeah. Was it in and out or, or what? My shit is still in me. I oh, ain't had to shit. do no surgery or nothing. <clears throat> oh, damn. You when you I go had a muscle. It was a tech twenty two. Oh. So it was a little it was a little yeah, bullet. Shit, went, you lucky that motherfucker didn't them bitches ricochet. travel. Yeah, yeah that that bitch but if it would've hit my body, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. But it hit, hit a muscle in the yeah. state. Yeah. So Oh, okay. Got a little tech twenty twenty in the butt cheek, no Frank Ocean. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, we didn't touch the game either. We had talked about the whole shit with the oh, game. Oh man, the G unit. That's when I got sick on the niggas, man. That's when yeah. Jay Prince like, get them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's when that well, happened, break man. break that one down though, like what? Nah, man, because that was deal. a beef between rap a lot too, right? Nah, it was a beef between just uh, uh, Irv Gotti and them. But this is a time when Jay Prince, Irv Gotti, and Suge is about to make the first black distribution. Yeah, distribution. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is when they piling together. So when Fifty Cent did the strike on Jai, mm. fucking up. Yeah, them. Yeah, you know I mean it, it's a bad look on their business. So. Mm -hmm. You know, we got involved with this shit, period. That, that's how I got involved, this rap a lot defending, mm. you know, Irv Gotti and them, mm. you know, and shit, you know. Niggas took it out on me, you know what I mean? Cause yeah. I mean, Zero made songs and shit. It wasn't just me, it yeah. was Zero, nigga. Bun B was on one of the songs mm -hmm. and all types of shit, but me, yeah. you know what I mean? Cause Why I'm from the West Coast. Why you think it's always you? When you say something, everybody say, everybody else can say some shit, but Yuck said it. But I know how to rap yeah. good. And, nah, and it's, it, it, it hit true. different when yeah, I yeah. when I That's say real. it. Like when they say it, it's like, ah, whatever. When I spit the shit and expose niggas, like yeah. it hit different, my nigga, yeah. it hit different. So um, the game, um, this is right when he first signed the G unit. You know what I mean? So. I ain't even made a diss song with the niggas yet. I'm just, you know, doing interviews and shit <laughs> with all hip hop and shit, saying fuck the niggas or whatever. I ain't made. You've no... been cool with the game though. I'd heard that y'all. Right. So I ain't made not one yeah. diss song yet. Period. And um, I meet the game at um for the first time at um Jada Kiss re uh, album release party in Hollywood. Jada Kiss putting the album out, so um game and the VIP and shit. So I'm, I'm like, okay, that's the nigga that signed to Dr. Dre. I walk up to the table like, nigga, you game? He's like, yeah. I'm like, I'm yuck, mom. He's like, nigga, I love your shit. We dab it up and shit. I'm like, nigga, you the next whoop, whoop, whoop on the West Coast. Nigga, hold that shit down. Nigga, you dope and shit. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Do cool ass daps and just leave, right? Did you know him from the JT era? Or just nah, I never no. seen him in the Bay because I was in LA at that time. Yeah, when he, yeah I didn't see him. So um, <clears throat> we dapped up, you know what I mean? Period. And, and 
And I said, bro, I got a problem with your nigga, but you cool, man. You know what I mean? He said, man, that's between y'all, man. I'm, I'm over here getting my money. So he did, said he wasn't even in the shit. Mm -hmm. I told him that we got a problem with 50 Cent. Mm -hmm. He's like, man, fuck that shit, man. I'm doing my thing. I'm with Dre. Whoop, 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 nigga. Mm -hmm. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So I'm like, okay, cool, my nigga. We dapped up and left. Like, shit, a week later, my nigga, he had a song called I Got a Meal on It. You no know, shitting on me. Damn. Yeah, you know, so I guess 50 told him to get at me since yeah. this, this West Coast beef or whatever. Got at me and shit. So that's when I made the first uh, diss song against them niggas called Game Over. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that was mm -hmm. the one where I, you know, exposed the game, yeah. the tongue ring and all the other yeah. shit I was yeah, saying. I remember that. So <clears throat> the change of heart, the niggas start finding change outfit. of heart yeah. footage and yeah. shit, all that shit. So yeah. that's when I went hard body karate on that one. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And it was like, I, I'm in LA, I'm hearing these rumors. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I ain't, I don't know shit about 50. So yeah. that's why I had to get the silverback gorillas. Right. You know what I mean? Bang right. them, smurfing them. I had them niggas on diss songs, all types of shit. So game, we we wanna fuck with him, but I'm hearing all this type of rumors about yeah. him when he got signed. You know the streets yeah. gonna be talking. Yeah, real shit. So he come at me. I'm like, oh, I know the most about you. <laughs> nigga, like, the, why him? Like, yeah. out of everybody, you? Oh, nigga, let me start talking this shit. I done heard in LA. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's how all them, uh, you know, did the, any of your shit, your, came your, out. your shit on wax ever spill over to the street? Hell yeah, man. I got jumped by Spider Loke and his niggas. They caught me slipping, nigga. Got uh -huh. boom bop. Got boom bop, you know what I mean? Yeah. Chain snatch hella shit, man. Yeah. So yeah, it did. Yeah. <laughs> that's what about when it with got real. Yeah, what about nah, the not, game? Not with the not game. game. Nuh-uh. Yeah. Have y'all talked since then? I mean, yeah, yeah, me and yeah. them the squash shit, we good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the beauty of this shit, though. You we know what I mean? Niggas grow niggas up. I had beef with. Yeah, niggas grow up. Even yeah. after Spot Loke and them boo bop me, I met that nigga like the next day and got yeah. my chain back and squashed yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, shout out to my homie T.Y. He made, you know, he the OG. Yeah. I know the me. homie T.Y. Yeah. yeah. So that's the nigga that squashed yeah. me and Master yeah. P beef, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he had the big head. Yeah. When he had the fat head. Yeah, yeah. The whole motherfucking the factory out here in Burbank. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, with the pool tables and shit. Yep. I met P and motherfucking uh, Spider Logan yep. at the same spot and okay. he squashed both of my beef. So yeah. shout out shout to T.Y. Yep. Yeah, he used to yeah. fuck with us. He used to be over. We had the big office in Van Nuys. To know yeah, him he said office. he was, he was fucking with P. That's yep. how I had P mm -hmm. pull up and yep. squash the beef with me. So one thing I want to touch on. So recently and I, I, I kind of I'm not going to say I agree with you, but you you spoke on uh, Mob James. Right. Yeah. And you were saying basically motherfuckers just need to let him be. Just leave him alone. Well, the whole thing about that is that he's his name is not on the paperwork, right? You know what I mean? And I don't I don't really call nobody no R word or no S word unless your right. name is on the paperwork, right? You know what I mean? Like it ain't even got like confidential informant. It just say something, right? You know what I mean? Like, and it's not there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I don't know. You know that that's state politics. Though. Exactly. That's state exactly. politics, and I was just like. Nigga snitch snitch nine. I mean snitch nine. Yeah, <laughs> right. He's the he's proven, proven, and he's paper. out here richer than ever. So yeah. I was like, it don't make a difference, my right. nigga. Niggas ain't gonna challenge you. All the rules about nigga being a snitches get stitches. That shit is out the way. Right. That shit happened back in time. the days, yeah, my nigga. Yeah, it's yeah. a different time. Niggas glorify snitches. Alpo yeah. got out of jail, nigga, and was a movie star. Exactly. For real, went on drink champs and said he a snitch. Public. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> still, said, I'm telling. Alpo got and was riding around Harley's with custom. Yeah, Dior shit, shit. vests and helmets and shit on like he a superstar in New yeah, York. They praise shit. him, so it's a different era. So yeah. I'm like, either if you know, yeah. either or, you know yeah. what I mean? You could face the shit and still be famous. Yeah, I wouldn't tuck my tail for none of this shit. Yeah, These other my niggas thing is I like ain't I like, got a uh, half a piece of gangster that you got exactly. in you, exactly. And they exactly. out here able to just walk around and do what the fuck they do, exactly. Untouched, unscathed, or nothing. So I wouldn't. That's what I was saying. You know, yeah. true or false or real or not. Yeah, you know, if it's real, nigga. Fuck it, yeah. you know what I mean? If it's not, fuck it. Because yeah. nobody's gonna really come at you or try to fuck you over about it. I feel you on that. I took, not, I kinda, not today. I kind of took the 80s same- 80s and the 90s? I kind of took the same stance, bro. The like, 70s? Yeah. Nigga, that slice your neck, nigga, yeah. with a motherfucking switchblade, nigga. Yeah. Good luck. Because what it is on social media, you know, the weirdos and the and the trolls and the and the square niggas hiding behind the keyboard, they'll try to make it seem like, oh yeah, y'all harboring snitches, snitches and all of this shit. But it's like, I'm like you. I'm like for one, I mind my business. Right. You know, for two, has nothing to do with me. Nothing you know? to do with me. And for that's three, yeah, that's they shit. And then for three, 
you know, I like Mob James. I know Mob. I know. I know James. Right. You, you know, he's James now. Mob James is that that shit gone. You James know what I mean? McDonald. James McDonald, and you know, he a cool nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, no, that, that was my yeah. uh, one of my uh, co. Like we was yeah. over there at Digital Soulbox yeah. over there. Right, with, uh, right. Steel, That's the homie was still. Yeah, Mob That's James. The That's whole fam. whole uh, Gangster Chronicles. Yeah. I was there when it started with with yeah. Reggie Wright Jr. and right. um, Alex. Right. You know right. what I mean? So we all. Uh, you know, doing our podcasts at, at CBS together and yeah. shit. So I, I've known Mob James for a minute. Yeah. And I was just saying, like, nigga, fuck that. That's the yeah. homeboy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Period. And a lot of niggas try to get on. Not really the, the fucking milk dude try to get on a nigga. Like, man, come on. You boy. know what? That's funny that you yeah, said that. Like, the, the nigga dude, milk. Man, yeah, Milk came at me on some shit, too. Yeah, tell that motherfucker. <laughs> he, he needs some he milk, came, He nigga. came at me on some shit, That nigga too, needs bro. some milk, man. Period. Tell that nigga yeah. slow down, Turbo. Yeah, I don't yeah. even know this dude. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, he's he like he's a, a young fucking, dude. Yeah, I don't know who white dude he from is. Hoover. Yeah, I don't know him. I don't I have don't an issue know. with him, but... But that's what he I'm saying. He got mad because I was defending Mob James. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, that's yeah. the whole how he came at me. He probably yeah. came at you for interviewing Bosco. He can't. Because no, he mad at Bosco, No, he came at me about X-rated. And X rated is my brother, you know what okay. I'm saying? So yeah, he came at me on some sideways shit about rated. Um, but you know, yeah, I don't even yeah, know. Man, fuck that yeah, dude, it's the man. internet niggas, man. It's these YouTubers Another one of them and these internet niggas. Gangsters. Another uh -huh. keyboard gangsters. Because I heard, you know, LA he, he don't really hang in the hood. Yeah. Yeah. I heard he really ain't in the hood. <laughs> I heard he ain't outside. Yeah, I seen I heard the same thing. But I heard then, he ain't I, outside. But, but, but in all fairness, I have heard a reputable say he wasn't from Hoover like that. But then I have heard other reputable motherfuckers nah, he, he I know from say it. he from there. He you know what I mean? It, but, he really from the hood. He, so. ain't, he ain't a boy like that yeah, though. Yeah. He from it. Definitely. Yeah. It's a lot of it's a lot of niggas from the bill. Yeah. That ain't a boy like that. Yeah. I yeah. don't mean that you a boy, my yeah. nigga. You ain't a stepper, nigga. You ain't one of them niggas that right. was feared out there. Right. Right. Period. A lot of niggas, there's a lot of squares. You know what I mean? Shit. That's from shit. Nigga, Real like, shit. what that mean? Yeah. You know, yeah. not no disrespect to them. That right. Nigga, they official tissue. Right. But every nigga in that motherfucker ain't a step or a killer. No, real Period. shit. Period. It's a lot of civilian niggas that's just from the block. Yes, sir. Straight yes, up. Sir. And I think uh, I look at him as one of those. Yeah. Did he uh, get jumped in? I'm not sure. I don't think he so. He said he did. He said he did. Okay, he said he got then, put on. Then yeah. he official tissue then. Yeah, yeah, he said he you got know? put on. And that's not to take nothing away from dude. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know him. I don't know. Him. I don't know him. Salute you know? to him. Yeah, for sure. Salute to, to him. To be honest with I you, still the funny, don't got the funny him. thing about it, I like his content. Some of his content I watch, I think dude funny. I like some of his content, you know, but I, I know he had kind of came at me a little way. You know, niggas I be policing this. This I social ain't media about shit the is nigga to he start talking this about me with the mind shit. Is crazy. shit. Yeah. Then I came yeah. across him. It's like, oh, yeah. Man. The one that you did hit though, uh, the media for. A kind of kind of on related subject is uh, JT though, because you oh, brought man yeah that you, that that got me into some yeah, crosses man yeah because JT has been going back and forth with people for a minute that's fig that's his politics though yeah, yeah. I can't but you were politics. you were like I feel like and I I kind of feel like it's a bold <laughs> choice because you was the first one to be like let's air it out like nah I mean he chose to air it out I'm talking about Africa and shit and all the other shit that's going yeah. down his history he didn't do one he like yuck I know that's your homeboys but nigga whoa whoa and just start going what was Fig's issue what, what were you talking about man that's his issue I don't know what his issue <laughs> is but he started going hella hard on, on the Vallejo niggas that's all oh, I'm gonna okay. say okay okay going dumbass okay. hard on Vallejo niggas that I fuck with okay. you know what I mean so it okay. put me in the cross and Oakland niggas that I fuck with and it okay. put me in the cross to where who he was talking about start yeah. looking at me sideways like mm -hmm. I did something. And I understand like you got to be responsible for your content or whatever because yeah. it was on my platform. Yeah, real shit. You know, I could have edited it or right. deleted it, right. but it was live. Right. It wasn't no edit. It's uh, motherfucker live. Like okay. we on YouTube live. Okay. It ain't no chop yeah, yeah. edit, none of that yeah. shit. You know what I mean? So, you know, but you got to take responsibility. I take responsibility for that. Yeah. But you can't blame mm -hmm. me for what a nigga said. Real shit. It ain't like I agreed with him. I right. kept on saying allegedly mm -hmm. every time he said something. I like, do remember that. I'm part. the yeah. allegedly. Like, yeah. hell, it's like, no, nigga, it ain't no alleged nigga. He, <laughs> what not? Like, yeah, I kept no, saying no, allegedly. Yeah. I'm like, don't yeah. say that about, like, <laughs> no, nigga. No. So, yeah. yeah, I was defending niggas and everything. And, you know, I still caught the slack. Like, yeah. me and Mr. Fab almost went blow for blow mm -hmm. over the shit at the high road. Day, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because I guess he said something about Fab, uh, whatever they was going through, and you know, me and Fab, I asked Fab about it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, nigga, you set him up, mm -hmm. man. He, he wasn't feeling it. You know what I mean? So we was about to squab. Yeah. 
you know what I mean, over, but over the JT shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think it had a lot of, with me doing the interview too. And if I ask you a question, there ain't no reason why to, you want to squab. Right. You already feel some type of way because right. my homeboy asked him the same question. He huddled up with the nigga and explained it. Wow. Like, yeah. oh, but you're going to explain it to my nigga, <clears throat> but you're going to come at me sideways. Yeah. So that's when I felt disrespected and, and took it there. Yeah. Period. So it Being wasn't a- him that wanted, it was me that wanted to fight because he tried to shove a nigga. Like, yeah. I ain't trying to hear that. Like push me, like nigga, what? You don't put your hands on me, nigga. You know you fucking with boy, and it yeah, went it there. Went from period. There. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Y'all squashed it since then. Um, yeah, definitely. We yeah. squashed it that same day. Okay. Yeah, you know I mean, nice. it, yeah, it didn't go nice. past that. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, that's that grown man shit. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the funny thing about being a content creator, bro. You know, I say that all the time because it's like they'll put you in the mix. They'll put my you nigga. in the mix, my nigga. If you if you you can interview one person. And then they say you're taking sides. If you interview both of them, then you're starting shit. Then you start That's just shit. like with this, right? Right. When this shit drop, Numb and his people are gonna be looking at me like, oh, that nigga gave him a platform, bitch ass nigga. You know, but right. then if I have Numb coming here, then right. the fans and other people see you starting you start shit. shit. You know but what no, I'm saying? No, you gotta get both sides of the coin. Yeah. I want yeah. you to ask him. I wanna find out where all the hate came from. Right. You know what I mean? Cause right. we was cool before then. This mm-hmm. nigga was on United Ghettos, he on mm-hmm. the United Ghettos, he on all the shit. Mm-hmm. Like we still was rocking. Yeah. And then this it came left field with him dissing yeah. a nigga. So and since he got out of jail, it ain't been the same. Like wow. he's a total different nigga. Like seven years away from society. Yeah. It's it's yeah. totally different, especially right. locked up in prison. My right. nigga it could right. change a motherfucker. You Real know, shit. For the good or the bad. Real shit. You know what I mean? And I think I'm witnessing the bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not the good. <clears throat> let me let me ask you this to transition a little bit. Um, you've always been considered, you know what I'm saying, one of the the lyrical motherfuckers, especially from the West Coast and specifically the Bay. You know, Thank you've always you, been considered yeah. a lyrical giant. Thank you, sir. Um, do you think you get your just due in the rap game? Um, you think people you give me love. Props? I mean, shit. Jay, Nas, the people who I want to give mm-hmm. me the acknowledgement, man. I see Nas at the airport. Mm-hmm. I ain't see him. He saw me mm-hmm. going through Burbank. He's like, yada da. <laughs> I was like, oh, nigga. He's like, yeah, nah, nah, what's happening, yeah, nigga? It's like, yeah. yeah, and then uh, Jay, you know what I mean? All right, I, I came in the game with Beyonce and shit. So I won them mm-hmm. Floyd Mayweather fights. Mm-hmm. They was coming to uh, the after party and shit, going through the crowd. And I dab Jay. Jay, like, nigga, you know you dope as fuck, nigga. Keep it up. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the, the Nazmus from the dudes, from yeah. Nas, Jay, Scarface, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Scarface Big. love my shit, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I was supposed to pin some shit for Scarface before mm-hmm. he went to, yeah, mm-hmm. he loved my shit that much that I was going, probably the hooks, not mm-hmm. as, you know, yeah, not far yeah. as his actual, but yeah. some dope ass hooks or something. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I was supposed to pin some shit for him. He liked my shit so much. So mm-hmm. the dudes that I look at as the, as the greats, they acknowledge me, I'm, I'm mm-hmm. good with that. Good with I don't, that. you know what I mean? The <clears> fans, you know, of course, they, they definitely yeah. represent for yeah. me. You know what I mean? Shout out to the whole, everybody that support Yuck Mouth, everybody mm-hmm. that love my music, you know what I mean? The movement, everything, the regime, mm-hmm. the thug lords, the loonies, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Everything I brought to the table. Yeah. United Ghettos, all the shit, you know, salute to all the fans. It wouldn't be no, hey, no fans, no bands. Right, right. There wouldn't Real be shit. no bands without mm-hmm. the fans, man. Real so y'all shit. pay my bills, man. So salute to y'all, definitely. But without them, I wouldn't be Yuck, period. What, they keep what, me pumping. What do you think about the, the music now, the current music climate? I think it's a recycle. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of recycled shit. It sound like the same beat playing with different niggas. No, it don't even sound like different. They sound like the same. They singing and shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know who's fucking who. Yeah. Especially these females. These females got the same fucking rap style. Mm-hmm. I don't know who the fuck is who. It's mm-hmm. hard. Like like I said back in the day, you had to be original and right. niggas will look at you sideways if you're trying to sound like, act like, or do something that somebody else is doing. Yeah. Like we all couldn't be bone thugs. We all couldn't be right. twister. We all couldn't be, you know right. what I mean? Like it was certain niggas that was, we all mm-hmm. couldn't be red man, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like old dirty bastard. If it was another nigga trying yeah. to be old dirty bastard style, you're like, nigga, you like old dirty. So right. we had to be original. It ain't original right now. I think niggas ain't putting no real effort into it, but the big dogs, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? The Drakes, the the Coles, the Kendricks, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? The, the, the big dogs is really putting in work, but it's some underground dudes that's dope too. That's still dope. It's some mm-hmm. new dudes that's killing it. You know what yeah. I mean? Dope ass dudes. But the majority, like eighty percent of this shit, is recycled. I think. Yeah. You but think some, because some the bar, you think there, because though. the bar been set so low and it's so easy to put out music and be a rapper now, opposed to back in our day. Facts. Mm-hmm. Facts. Niggas that don't even know how to rap, they just start rapping last month to yep. put out a hit and be on. Yep. Niggas that go viral. Mm-hmm on yep. Twitter or yep. TikTok, TikTok to get a record yep. deal for millions and they will write you a song and yep. put it out and try to hit. I just seen a TikTok Mexican dude, no disrespect, mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. But the nigga that be riding on the skateboard, yeah. this nigga got a song with Snoop. I ain't, still ain't got a song with Snoop, my <laughs> nigga. How the fuck the nigga riding on the skateboard, going viral on goddamn yeah. IG, yeah. get a song before I did. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. it, it happens like that, my nigga. Go yeah. viral, it's that easy. Yeah. The Dr. Phil chicks, the, she she claimed 50 million. She put oh. receipts up. Oh, the uh, the Cash Me Outside? Oh, I seen it. Yeah, yeah Cash oh, Me as Outside. A, as, a, as a rapper? As and, a rapper. That's crazy. And yeah. an influencer. So you think it's more about persona now and social media engagement than it is real stuff? It's talent. Absolutely, yeah. because when we used to go by the numbers, like what you do the first week, the sound scan, the mm -hmm. new sound scan is likes, mm -hmm. follows, yep. you know what I mean? Uh, uh, fucking um, subscribers, yep. engagement, yep. you know what I mean? And you know, how many views? Yep, real shit. That's the new that dictates, sound scan. Yeah. Yep. You real know, and shit. that dictates your deal right now. Yep. Period, yep. you could be a dope ass rapper and got the city sold up. If you ain't got no social media presence, the label won't fuck with you. Talk about it. Hell Period, yeah. you gotta have the whole combination. You yep. have to be Liddy on every city and every fucking platform. Yep. You gotta be Liddy, have a strong following. Yep. Or they ain't fucking with you, Period. Exactly, that's why I be trying to tell my people in Kansas City, you know what I mean? That social media is where the game's being played. That's just what it is. And speaking of which, so you transition, I mean, I know you're still doing music, but you transition into podcasting. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. I've been doing that shit for a minute. Yeah, I, what I made think you I had the that? mic before you, nigga. Oh, way before me, <laughs> yeah. nigga. I ain't even a year old, nigga. <laughs> okay. I ain't even a year like, old. Nigga, you said I'm starting podcasting, yeah, nigga. nigga shit, I'm new with this bitch, but I started <laughs> heavy, nigga. I, started, I see you I came heavy. With this bitch heavy. You, you know came in me? ready. And no right. Ocean, hey, man. hey, let's give respect where it's due though, because I told him before he came in, I was like, hey, I'm a fan. I fucked with Yuck forever, especially coming from Sac. Yeah, but like. United Ghettos. Yeah, I mean that was that was YouTube before YouTube. Right, right. That was that was that was that was, a, that's that was really before Mac me. Dre was doing the video. That's, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what turned Mac Dre on to doing it because yeah. I had him on the first one and I showed him like, okay, that's how I did it. He's like, oh, for real, nigga, pull out the camera. You got and a then camera there was the crew. Part one, I think the two one oh nine. What was the the was part the, one? Yeah, the the Thiz yeah. dance when they yeah. when Dre was dancing and shit, all that mm -hmm. shit. The whole little segment, nigga, was showing mm -hmm. the, the forty video shit, mustard and mayonnaise footage, mm -hmm. all that shit. With Dre and them <clears throat> Thiz dancing, the Art of Vallejo niggas, sack niggas and shit, something terrible. Mm -hmm. You know, when that shit was on there, it, it was like the highlight of the goddamn DVD, mm -hmm. period. So, and the songs, you know what I mean? Period, on the soundtrack and shit with Mac Dre and them on the, on the motherfucker. But I feel like your shit and then leading into Dre shit was like podcasting before the podcast. Oh, definitely. Easy. That's, yep. that's that's why I do the shit. I was behind the camera on United yep. Ghettos. You'll hear me talking and just filming like on some Vlad shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Period. So. And, and shout out to Vlad. He was out there doing it too. Oh yeah, definitely. He yeah. did uh the Thiz uh the Thiz movie for Mac Dre. Yeah, you know I mean, but um, yeah, you know, the whole shit, you know, fucking with Dre really started me behind. I mean, fucking with United Ghettos really got me behind the camera. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Doing the DVDs and all that shit, rendering and shit, taught me the business on that. And then when you that was shit- You was in movies, was, wasn't, weren't you in the original Gangsta Original too? Gangsta, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Judown yeah. was in that motherfucker yeah, too. Yeah. Judown Drew Drew did a good ass Kato, job. Because y'all go running out yeah. the, the, the club or whatever. Y'all had, had, had a little cameo yeah, with yeah, the motherfucker. Yeah, bullshit ass cameo, yeah. man. <laughs> fuck the book was like, what'd he say? He was like, nah, I don't want no props, something like that. Fuck the bookmans and shit, yeah, get out of here. Yeah, so um, and then fast forward to 2010, we was on Blog Talk Radio when we start. This is when we start Smoke a Lot Radio. Me, Cuzzo Fly, and a dude named Brandon. We on Blog Talk Radio, and we start Smoke a Lot Radio when you had to call in. Remember mm -hmm. the Blog Talk yeah. Radio? So we was on that bitch for four years. We had everybody from Ice Cube, all the big mm -hmm. motherfuckers on that bitch. Burn everybody, Scarface, Jay Prince, everybody on that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Then um. I switch over and go to Be Real TV mm -hmm. in 2014. So um, after that, fuck with Be Real for like two or three years. And then we go to Digital Soapbox after that. And uh, shit, now we doing our thing by ourselves, man. We, okay. High yeah. power, man. How you, how you like this podcast and shit? It's dope. I mm -hmm. still ain't seen no real hell of a money on the shit. You yeah. know what I mean? It's still grinding. You uh -huh. know what I mean? It's still grinding. I'm tr still waiting for the payout. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, it's, you know, you get a few dollars, but yeah, it yeah, ain't yeah. like, what Joe Rogan and them is right, you know right, what right, I mean? right, or, or right. what Joe Button and them is getting or, yeah. or Nori and them is getting and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what that's I mean? The, yeah, that's when you didn't put, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Cause you've been at the shit for yeah, a minute. Yeah, we've though. been there for a minute, man. Yeah. So before drink champs, all that shit, we yeah. was here, man. Period. So. You still on a digital soapbox or 
Um, I'm still cool with them. Okay. Yeah, but I'm doing my own thing right now. Okay. You know, and, and then still always wanted me to, you know, get out and do my own thing. Right. You know, still just always gave me the alley oop and the best advice and shit. Real like, shit. bro, you know, you could do your own shit, yeah, bro. Still you the homie. do this. Still you know give me mean? a lot of game. Right. You so, give me a lot of game. He's yeah. like, man, I'm gonna line it up so you could be your own executive, okay. your own shit. You ain't gotta be under my umbrella. You yeah. can do your own shit and whatever you need me for, you know. Yeah. I got you. you yeah. Know? So what else? So what Yuck Mouth got going now? In 2022, my nigga, what you doing now? New album, nigga, where you got a, your own strain of weed. What All you got? That. Both. <laughs> my yuck mouth culado, you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, won three, three cups, three awards and shit already. So we hot in the streets, man. Banging their ass out, no Frank Ocean. Niggas is mm -hmm. bootlegging. When they start bootlegging your shit and selling your bags in liquor yeah. stores, yeah. That's when you own. So they been bootlegging the shit out of my shit for the last three years. Just my bags and putting. Mm -hmm. Whatever they got it, it ain't even my real strand, but. It's like a dispensary, uh, a shit you put out in the dispensaries? Yeah, yeah, my shit is in dispensaries. It's called Yuck Mouth Culado. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, made by Gas Coach. Shout out my brothers, these dudes, yeah. you know what I mean? But uh, Yuck Mouth Culado, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's a culado, it's a gelato mixed with this and a little bit of that and a little bit of that. <laughs> you know what is I mean? that what you smoking now? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. You yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you got to, you got to, man. Gotta you got represent to. the brand. You, you got, got some new to. music dropping? Um, yeah, City of Dope dropping this summer. You know okay. what I mean? Also gonna do one with Pete Rock called Crack Rock. I'm gonna do that after City of Dope. Me and Sebo getting in the studio doing Thug Lords, and me and Jay Hood got a group called Savages. We are about mm -hmm. to work on that part too. Mm -hmm. And um, you talking about the legendary Pete Rock, the producer yeah, from the East course, Coast? Of okay, yeah, there's only up. one Pete Rock, right? Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. making sure you talking about the same one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, like that okay. slide, like it was yeah. nothing. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Like you flexing. Yeah, oh, like man. Pete yeah, Rock. Yeah. Shout out, shout out Pete Rock, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've been working for a couple of years though. The pandemic okay. happened, it kind of slowed it yeah. down. So now that everything opened back up, okay, you know, about to finally drop it, man. I didn't want to drop it in the pandemic yeah. when we couldn't tour on it and right. really, you know, hit how we supposed to hit. Man. Right. So shout out to Pete Rock, but Crack Rock coming soon, definitely. Yeah. But City of Dope about to drop this summer. Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yep. Um, also, you on tour? Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely. We on tour right now. The mm -hmm. Looney's tour, man. We just uh, came from Arizona. We just had four in a row. Mm -hmm. So we had uh, Dallas, Oklahoma City, Arizona, and Vegas, like mm -hmm. four days in a so row. What, uh, so we Cuzzo got Fly? Is he, yeah, with Cuzzo Fly, man. Shout out my partner, Grind, Cuzzo Fly, man. Yeah. So, yeah, we've been beating up these cities, man. Period. Getting straight to the bread. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. One All monkey, right. one monkey don't stop the show. Real Turbo. Shit. Real Tell shit. You. Real yeah. shit. Well, hey. I just want to give you your flowers, my nigga. This is some grown man shit. You Thank know what I'm saying? I'm Thanks glad you came. Me, yeah. Hell you know yeah. what I mean? You in the- I thought I wasn't going to show up. I thought you wasn't going to show up, my <laughs> nigga. Crazy, you know what I'm saying? Man. I was like, man, that nigga- Rappers yeah. is always late, Yeah, man, that, nah, nah, Especially but you know- when you got kids to drop off my young yeah. and get out at noon. You know what yeah. I mean? So I had to pick yeah. my young up good. and shit, so. Oh, I'm good. right around the corner from you in the valley. Yeah, I gotta, exactly. I gotta go get my kids for private school. Exactly. Yeah, real yeah, shit. Yeah, See, that's that so. daddy shit. They but no, yeah. I want to give you flowers, my nigga. Thank you, know you bro. Saying? Hell you yeah. One of the hip hop legends. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, one of the lyrical jargonites, bro. Thank you, you know, bro. And, and you even, too, man. You, yeah, you over there I, being I, shy and shit, nigga. Nah, you, you it's all good, your, man. Listen, shit. I'm a humble nigga. You know what I'm Cut saying? This is this is about you right now. This is about you right now. He about to be on my podcast too. He about to be on Smoke a Lot Radio too. Let y'all niggas know. Yeah, yeah. You know what I told him? You know what I told him though is I watched your shit with Kato, that's the homie. Yeah, yeah, Kato. Yeah, shout out Kato to Kato. Fona and that's Simone right. Taylor. Yeah. Yeah. I'd actually texted Kato to get the plug going originally. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. But I told him, I said, man, we gotta get Yuck, bro. Yeah, yeah. real shit. I said, real we gotta shit. get Yuck on here. Now we Especially because yeah. I had watched your shit and you had, you had told Kato, like, hold on, man, you ain't just gonna talk about no beef and not do my story. Right. And I, and I, and I watched it and I said, right, Court, yeah. man, we gotta do the story. Yeah, because they did a bullshit ass interview. They just like, nigga, y'all know. And these your niggas. Hey, like, shout out Kato, though. Shout out Kato. Kato, you did a bullshit ass with a camera. You did a bullshit ass interview, nigga. You but, and Simone. Simone, know me since she was fucking like 19 or 20, 18 yeah. or some hey, shit, bro. Going to college. We known, we known each other for 20 years. I got love for this dude. Yeah. And I was like, hey, he. Court always do the story from the beginning. And then I heard you say that and I said, man, get yuck over here. Yeah, yeah man, when, they ain't even yeah, get that yeah, to the my goddamn yeah. smoke a lot. Like, everybody <laughs> just know me. Like, nigga, they nah, know you, nigga. nigga. I just over, want you to talk about numb school. No, nigga, over here, we talk about the journey, the whole story. Man, you we got, got a, you got the story. That's one of the dopest story. interviews, you feel what bro. I'm saying? Definitely, yeah. man. I appreciate Salute to y'all, man. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm coming to do your shit tonight. 
Yes, sir. Tonight, I'm I will hold be you there. To that, man. I'm going to hold you to that. Yeah. I'm going to hold you to that, nigga. Yeah. You, you, your, your kids watch the motherfucking <laughs> Cobra Kai, man. You might, you, you might not make it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that Cobra nah, Kai shit. all good. I appreciate <laughs> you coming, though, yes, my brother. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Thank you, man. The Thank fans been wanting to see it. You know Thank what I'm saying? Thank both you guys, man. Yeah, salute, yeah, salute man. brother. Hell yeah, man. We on, man. Thank yeah. you.